headed to the finale to compete against Tiffer and TJ. I never in a million years thought just a regular street shop dude like me could stand before you guys. But as soon as I walked in here, I was walking amongst giants. You are walking with giants, brother. Yeah. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Oh, you cool. For indigenous people around the world, animals have extraordinary power. Animal totems or spirit guides can be messengers and protectors. I have a lot of experience with animal tattoos. I'm feeling really confident. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. Are you set on new school? I was just kind of going to go with something different. New school cartoon style, because I don't have it. Jesse me. He knows this is not my forte. I can do new school, but I don't I do not do it enough where, right. you know, I'd want to rock a, a super sick new school piece on you for six hours. I really got to get this guy to go in a different direction. I'm going to be honest with you, that's not exactly what I do. Now that I got my human canvas in a different direction, I'm feeling good. I'm spending a ton of time on the hair to show super dimension. They want detail, they want line work, they want shadows. I'm doing everything I can do to show that I'm an ink master. That's going to be <laughs> badass. Yeah. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Steve. This tattoo is solid. It has all the right skin breaks. This is what I want to see. This one's much better than the last one. The detail is unbelievable. The way the shoulder is turned and you kept it light up in the front, you really got dimension. This is exactly why I am the way I am. When I give you so much it's because you can do this. Maybe some of my ideas don't work as well as others, but some of them, you just have such a solid idea and it works. Great job. Thank you. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. This tattoo could have won many different challenges here in this competition. This thing is really strong. Thank you. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. <laughs> by covering up a constant source of shame, a hate tattoo. We gotta cover up some hate tattoos? We just did foreheads. This is getting crazier and crazier. From Confederate flags to swastikas, these controversial tattoos are permanent statements of strong beliefs. Your canvases today regret getting these tattoos, so you must help them by transforming these symbols of hate into something new. Today, these are just gonna be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover-up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, yeah, I appreciate that. Right, right on. Trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got tattooed, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to come off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody gonna beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. Anthony. This is one of the most solid cover-ups of the day. Definitely nothing of that tattoo is coming through. Shows really good ingenuity having to draw that tombstone just right. And you could use those details and the cracks to mask what areas you need to really get hidden. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. All right, judges, time to choose who had the best tattoo of the day. Anthony's tattoo gets it. I love the high definition of Anthony's tattoo, but it does look like a weird composite that's not realized. Not for me. For me, everything about the tattoo, especially the cover-up area itself, is executed so well and so precise. I love James's tattoo, but he had some hiccups in the line work, and I really couldn't pick too much apart about Anthony's. I need a final decision. Anthony. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. 
So this is kind of what I was thinking. It's like a religious Tibetan mask. I don't get to do many heads, but I'm always down for a challenge. And how far down the neck is this gonna go? How far down do you want it to go? I want my whole neck covered. Cool. One thing I'm known for is my speed, so if I can get something bigger than the other two coaches, I'm down. Nobody's going this big, dude. DJ, you are up. Wow, DJ, clearly you didn't go small. Nope. He's got a mask on the top of his head that slides up. The tassels ride the side. And I also wanted pieces that went together, but they are their own pieces from top to back. When he's walking backwards, people think that's a skeleton with a third eye with his brain cut out. Every way you look at this guy's head, there's something going on that's interesting and, and intriguing. You look at the top of this guy's head, there's no doubt that thing is super tight, that's super clean. To me, the top of the head is really, really, really strong. When we get down and we get to the skull, the way that you have those negative pieces that come out of the eyes and come onto the side of the head, beautiful. Guys, I need a final decision. Going for overall art, overall creativity, and overall wow factor, my vote is for DJ. Yeah! All right, Tim and Tony, one of you will move on to the finale and one of you will be eliminated. To earn the final spot in the finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh my God. You will each face off tattooing three 90 minute tattoos, each in a completely different style. All right, guys, this is your last chance to earn your spot in the finale. You have 90 minutes to tattoo a fine line script assigned by Tiffer. And your time starts now. This is where I excel. I work fast, I can do any style you throw at me, and I guarantee you, no one in this place can hang. You already got him on the Cool, so as long as it's bulletproof, I'm good. Yeah, dude, this font looks weak. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down, time is up. Get ready for your next tattoo. That is crisp. Up next, you have 90 minutes to tattoo a new school full color apple assigned by TJ. And your time starts now. Let's do this. Don't sculpt that line. Keep that with one pass. Okay. I'm harnessing my new school roots into you. Five. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Get ready for the next tattoo. Tim should sure up to play today. I'd eat that apple. If I didn't do some coaching on that one, dude. For the last tattoo of the marathon, you have 90 minutes to tattoo a single needle, Sacred Heart, assigned by the judges. And your time starts now. That doesn't hurt. Give it a minute. <laughs> if you do not know how to use a single needle, it's like a razor, you can fillet someone's skin. You're creating a full image with just one little needle head. 30 minutes left. I'm hoping to prove that just because you have a specialty and a niche, that means Jack. If you don't know how to take whatever comes through the door, if you don't know how to do walk-ins, you do not deserve to go against me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Boom! The tattoo marathon is officially over. Yes. Tony and Tim, you had to survive a tattoo marathon to earn the last spot in the finale. Let's see how you did. Tony, you're up first. Let's look at your fine line script tattoo. The double line on this tattoo really allows for you to put the highlight in, shade it from the top and the bottom, leave a little skin break in the middle, and the openness between each letter really makes everything legible. Nice job. Thank you. I, I take pride in lettering. Next up is the full color New School Apple. 
that definitely looks like an apple. It's pretty solid and saturated, wall-to-wall -wall color. I would almost say this is more just straight up off-the-wall tattooing as opposed to like really hitting a new school style, but solid tattooing, man. Finally, the single needle black and gray Sacred Heart. I really love that soft, delicate look to the right side of the Sacred Heart where you don't overwhelm it with darkness. You can read all the dimensions in this thing. You can see the highlights on the thorns. Man, that thing is badass. It's my favorite of the three. Thank you. Judges, it's time to determine who earned the last spot in the finale. I like elements of all these tattoos. When I look at them together as a collective, just looking at versatility, I got to go with Tony. Tony. The judges have decided. Tony, you have earned the last spot in the finale. Yeah. Good job, bud. Congratulations, Tony. You're headed to the finale to compete against Tiffer and TJ. I never in a million years thought just a regular street shop dude like me could stand before you guys. But as soon as I walked in here, I was walking amongst giants. You are walking with giants, brother. Congratulations, guys. You can all head back to the loft. Oh. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> but I told you, right? <laughs> Who the f did that? So what we're looking at is a cover-up tattoo. We're looking at a beach scene. I don't know if I like that tattoo. I wouldn't get a beach scene. Wouldn't get a beach scene on my lower back. There's nothing nice about that tattoo. Whoever made that attempt needs to go back to the drawing board. I would have probably tried to use that tribal sun and be more creative with what she already had because I guess it's a successful cover-up, but sometimes when you use a bunch of those like nude tones, like the sand and all of that, and you don't have any sort of border or anything around it, you're not kind of really sure where the skin starts and where the sand ends kind of, and it's all wishy-washy. Tattoos of beaches are awesome, but that specific tattoo I think needed to be thought out way differently. It looks like a cover-up. When you have a bush in the middle of the lower back, you don't want a bushy lower back. I don't know, but you can see the cover-up a little bit. And one thing you really want with tattoo cover-ups is you want to make them disappear. You know, another session on that tattoo would really help it. It's not that bad, but you know, it would help it be a little cleaner. I don't really love the placement of that tattoo. So I wouldn't have done that solid around. I would have left the lines a little open and tried to give it some like breath. It's a lot of wrinkles on that for, for no reason, out of no place and just all over the place and it's just not really appealing. I think that a little bit open skin, a little bit more dark in the background would give it a little bit readability. It's just kind of muddy and messy and there's a lot going on. It looks like in order to finish that sleeve, they're gonna have to go all solid for the whole sleeve, which is gonna be Kind of tough, I think. It is definitely easy to make long textured animal parts look a bit phallic. I mean, it's nature, it's all natural. But you know what? Look, I have a big long phallic trunk on my leg too, so. Shut the f up. Ah! Looks like that baboon has a nipple. And it doesn't look anything like a baboon. I'm not sure what that is. This baboon tattoo looks like a bad boon tattoo. Like, not good at all, no readability. It's just muddy. This is a perfect example of an overworked tattoo. It looks like it was from the mid 80s. But that's the kind of that happens when you bite off more than you can chew. If you're not great at color realism, I would kind of stay in your lane. My apprentice did better on the first week of tattooing. It almost looks like a cover-up. I don't think there's any saving that. I couldn't even read what it was. That's a really terrible tattoo. The debate on owls is, is it a good omen or a bad omen? I love owls. These owls aren't bad. I just hope they're on like people that care about each other or family members and not complete strangers because that would just be weird in general. Yeah, well, you know, looking at the owl, um, they're almost the same, but one of them up on that moon, and that one moon is quite wobbly. They're cute, I don't see a problem with them. I think those tattoos are, they're cute, they're kitschy, they're sweet. I mean, it's definitely a tattoo that I would have done in the first few years that I were tattooing, just because it's kind of safe. It's definitely a safe 
simple tattoo. And safe simple tattoos are awesome. I have a million of them and I love them. It's simple, clean, it's cute. Oh my God, it's a really actually beautiful tattoo, but it's hilarious that they made the butt crack the cleavage because when that person doesn't have pants on, it's gonna look like she has these huge boobs as the butt crack. I don't know about the position though. Having the boobs in the crack. The tattoo is beautiful, but wow, those got a set there. I like that, that's cool, a little keyhole. I love hand palm tattoos. They don't stay very well, but I like them a lot. Have you ever thought about getting your palms tattooed? I haven't yet. That's on the inside of the hand. That's pretty impressive. Holy The palm of the hand is definitely, if not the most difficult spot on the body to tattoo, would only be second to the bottom of the foot. And the reason these tattoos are so hard to do is because it's either gonna blow out or fall out. You just gotta go all the way. So like normally in normal tattoos, you don't ever wanna blow out which is like when you drop the needle in too far and the needle goes under the skin and it just kind of gets gray. But on palm tattoos, you have to blow it out. So you have to go all the way under the skin, blow it out because the skin sheds so fast that it just won't last. You can't tattoo this part of the body like any other part of the body. It's literally an anomaly. You have to basically slow your machine down and use it almost like a sewing machine, like with each and every single line. Ladybugs in the ear, that's cute. I think they look cool. For someone who likes color and is, likes cute things, those ladybugs are like little earrings. I think they're really cute. I mean, I think probably they should have used a little bit brighter of a red, that would be my critique, because as tattoos age, they do lose saturation a little bit and they get a little bit muddy and blur together, but it's they're super, super clean and adorable. Tattooing ears and these ladybugs is a difficult challenge. You know, you really want to make it clean. The right tattoo looks a little cleaner than the left tattoo. I would definitely take the right tattoo over the left. I'm not into tattooing ears. It's not really a canvas in there. And usually ear tattoos don't look that good either because that skin just blows up really quick. And eventually it just looks like you got a, something stuck in your ear. It's like, nah, stay away from that. That's pretty impressive because the armpit's not an easy placement. People tend to have a lot of blowouts inside the armpits, but actually it seems like a pretty solid tattoo on both sides. I like armpit tattoos. I think they look super cool. Those faces look cool. They're kind of like traditional with the like king and queen. Armpit tattoos are great for me when I'm doing them, but for the client getting them, no way. I've seen clients run for the hills and it's one of those spots that is just super painful. Truly, this is one of the most painful spots on the body to get tattooed and this. So as long as you stay in the safe zone, you're actually golden. I think that's actually a really cool tattoo. I think it's unique. Final thoughts looking back on all of these tattoos. <laughs> Like I wanna see the contestants bring more than what I just seen, you know? And I wanna see them hit some home runs because this is the next level and it's 250,000 and I want the best here. My mind automatically flocks to realism when I do portraits, so I'm still stuck in that mindset. I think I'm in trouble for the first time. To try to completely change that, I mean, I hate to say it, but I might have just found my weak spot. I was all, you know, really pumped for portrait day, and I, I don't know what happened. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Japanese. Ugh. Japanese, god damn it. In Japanese style, there's an even distributional weight throughout the piece. If it's off, it can really make somebody's body look awkward. Let's meet your canvases. Think about uh, a koi transforming to a dragon. Canvases, one by one, please reveal the name on the bottom of your skull. Tattoo baby. Steve. I get the muscle guy. He wants a koi dragon, which I am not a big fan of. This could be a really f***ed up tattoo. What are you doing? I'm gonna koi dragon. A koi dragon literally looks like the body of a koi fish and the head of a dragon. Kind of looks like a seahorse a little bit. You wanted more of a dragon than a koi, right? 
I'm kind of handcuffed a little bit. The judges are two traditional tattoo artists. Most koi dragons are 90% fish with a dragon head, but my client didn't really want to go old school. I understand what they said, but you want a longer tail, I'll give you a longer tail. You're the customer, man. I like it. I really do. This week, we asked you to create a Japanese tattoo. We were testing balance. Steve. Nothing bounces out here. The big water swoosh through the middle. It looks like a sheet draped across there in between the tail where there's just open skin and then water splashing up on one side that doesn't connect. You lost the effect. The scales should have been bigger. They should expand with the curves of the koi to enhance the transformation of koi into dragon. The one fin, why not two at least? Put the other one up behind the head. Try it, it didn't look right. Bro, this don't look right. It's probably the first dragon koi I've ever done. Not really my thing. Well, what the is anybody here for if they would come to compete and only do one style tattooing? No, don't even say that. It's not how I feel. Well, that's how I feel because when you don't feel like tattooing, you just don't. You that's cruise. Not, that's not how it is. It's kind of like in the beginning, everybody was giving Jesse a rash because Jesse was only doing big-eyed, big-teeth things. But now we're kind of seeing that he does different styles. You have to be able to adapt because if you don't, then expect to get out of this competition. You must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's going to judge you is Taki, and he's going to nail the out of you. Let's meet your canvases. It's more important than ever this late in the game to start aiming at the strongest artists. In my mind, that's Scott. I want a collared snake on my right rib. Do you have your other ribs done? No. Nope. Do you have any other tattoos? I have little tattoos. Rib pieces are extremely painful. Here. And if you only have a couple of little teeny tiny tattoos. Nervous? A little. Then you have no idea what you're in store for. Yeah. I know I'm giving Scott one of the most difficult canvases he's probably ever worked with. There you go. I hope that this is the one that knocks Scott on his ass. Scott. I know Halo is gunning for me. It's karma. I guess it's my turn to rise to the challenge. Bring it. I will still do a good job. I want to start like under my boob and end like here. I would recommend being that you've never had like a really big session to do a tattoo probably about this big. My only concern is I want something sexy. I want the shape to be in harmony with my body. My canvas has only sat through little tiny bangers on real easy places. She will not sit through a big Japanese tattoo. It is not gonna happen. Do you know what you got yourself into? The ribs are tough. He definitely threw you at me because he thought that you would tap out. But you know, you don't want to have something that has to do with my body. I have worked way too hard throughout this whole competition to go home because of this stubborn canvas. What if the head is biting my boob? If I don't get my canvas on board with me, I am screwed. We've already agreed that this is going to be the flow of the piece. Not mm -hmm. this, right? I the don't challenge. want it too confusing. My canvas is being so difficult. You gotta trust me. I'm just confused of how this snake is turning. Leave it up to me. I do not need this right now. It's not natural. It's weird. You're still not trusting me. It's awesome to watch Scott squirm. Just leave it. Let me do this. The idea that he gets a taste of what he's been able to dish out, how can it not bring a smile to your face? You have to listen to me. I'm at the top in this competition. There's a reason for it. You have to trust me. Yeah, I know, but what this. you like is not what I like. No, but I know what you like. And if you don't let me do that, then you're going to be upset and you have a bad tattoo, and you're only going to be beating yourself in the ass for restricting me and twisting my arm and making it do it your way, you know? Sure. If you get dizzy, or if you're feeling like cold sweats or you're feeling nauseous or something like that, then we'll, then we'll pump the brakes a little bit. I am really worried that my canvas is going to tap out. But you know if I'm in pain, I'll take a break. You don't want to take a break because when you come back, it'll hurt 10 times more. <laughs> I'm going to take one break, a couple of breaks. You don't want to take a couple of breaks. Once you break once or twice, you're tapping out. I'm stressing the f out right now. You got your job to do and I got my job to do. Now it's just up to me to execute that and it's up to you to sit through it. Two more hours. Two more hours. Nothing 
definitely gonna need a cigarette. Oh. No. Tell me you take a break, it slows down, and you come back, and you can't take the pain then. Trust me. My canvas is having a really hard time, and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. Mm. I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't want to let you go, and then I got to drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for 100 grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. Can't move in the middle of the line sorry, like that, sorry, OK? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, deal. Three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. I did it! Yeah, you did it. Good job. This doesn't look like a tattoo that Scott would do. It's ugly. It feels good to know that I'm the first person to knock Scott Marshall off his throne. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Scott. All right, Scott, very, very surprised to see this tattoo come out of you. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, you totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it. But when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's going to come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting, it's utterly incorrect. She was a tough canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's going to show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm going to stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject on the same body part. You must tattoo a skull on your canvas's head. Uh, I know from firsthand experience, getting your head tattooed is no fun. It's crazy, dude. I just hope these canvases are prepared to go through some pain. Proper placement on a skull is so difficult because it's like tattooing on a bowl. There's curves this way, there's curves that way. You guys should go bigger with this. Just look at it on the back of my head. Yeah, it takes somebody to hold back your head. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I know something's off about this design. I can't pinpoint it. I don't know why for the life of me, but it's making me crazy. It would look funny if it wrapped too much on the top of his head. Like, it's got to be just a straight-on headshot back there, don't you think? Um... Jason's all frazzled on his crappy design, and guess what? It's going to look like crap no matter what, and that's not my problem. Okay, dude. F it. Let's tattoo, man. I'm really feeling the pressure of this competition. I am not ready to go home. I don't give a If I'm going downward spiral, I'm going to go right back the up, and I'm going to win. Forgive me if I don't talk too much, dude. I'm trying to win. I'm going to prove to everyone that Jason Clay Dunn is here to battle. I can do this. How's that, bro? Uh, it's a walk in the park, man. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more tattooing. Almost not ready for it. <laughs> oh, that's intense. I don't know what Jason's thinking with this tattoo, but it looks like <laughs> The placement is really weird. The drawing is lacking. Jason needs to put his big boy pants on and really step up his game if he wants to stay in this competition. Today, you had to tattoo a perfectly placed skull on your canvas's head. Jason. It definitely doesn't look like a skull. It kind of looks like a latex mask. OK, I can see that, because a lot of these old skulls, they had like skin. They were like mummified. This has to be clear. You have to make this stuff readable. You have a lot of areas in this where you just need it to go a lot lighter. The forehead's more deep set than the eyes and the nose. And this tattoo from a distance is hard to read. There is no tattoo that requires more precision than a portrait. Portraits have showed their ugly face in the building. Oh. If you don't use precision and put things where they're supposed to be, it's not going to look like that person. To tattoo an accurate portrait, 
you must capture the subject's likeness by precisely placing every single drop of ink. A facial feature, even a millimeter out of place, could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. I don't really do portraits because one little slip up, man, and you're gonna make your tattoo look like sloth from the Goonies, and that's the last thing I wanna do. That's what stoked me out on it, man, is all the little crazy metals and stuff, you know what I mean? Give me a chance to get fancy. I purposely picked this photo because you can't really see the face. My strategy is to make this jacket and this helmet look so on point that it's undeniably a good tattoo, and they can only pick apart the face so much because the face isn't even there. Three, two, one. That's it, time is up, machine's down, no more ink. Holy crap, that's sick. All the little detail on the metals, it's like, holy Christ. Cruzman's tattoo turned out exactly like we thought it would. It's busted. His face looks like it's melting down his neck. It's not fixable. That portrait will never look right. Cruzman, pack your bags. Today, you had to give canvases and their loved ones a way to stay together even when military service keeps them apart by tattooing a portrait. Cruzman, start with you. Speaking about precision specifically, there are really great examples of that in the uniform itself. I love what you did with the name tag and the little elements on the jacket, the fine details. That's why I picked this one. There was least amount of face to do, and I am not a portrait tattooer, so I figured that that was my only hope of holding on. It looks like some of the shading in the face got away from you, especially that line in the nose. This is the trouble part. The shading you put in the nose takes the nose in the wrong direction. It looks like the nose is going this way and the face is going that way. His chin going into his neck, you needed to up the definition of that a little bit to show which one of these crease lines is his actual face and which one is the neck. You see what you did inside the jacket with the tie and that reflection of the shirt? You were confident because it wasn't a face. I totally was. If you're not confident in a face, don't treat it like a face. Just treat it as shapes and go in with the same confidence that you go in in the jacket area because you can do it. There are examples of the precision that's necessary to hit those things. It's painstakingly obvious that portraits are not your thing. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. Let's meet your canvases. You want color or black and gray? Color? Oh, you know how hard that's gonna be to do? You have all the spots to have to do little bitty whiskers that come off this thing? That's a hard one for sure. The lion, the leopard, and the gorilla. Any three of those can put Tony out. Yeah, I think so too. Tony. Anything with fur, you have to use certain techniques that I've just never really tried before. I'm screwed. Have you ever had the back of your thigh done? I have. All right, so you're thinking like right here? Yeah. Are you opposed to the front? I don't really like the look of two thigh pieces, just it's not okay. my look. This is the one day I can't afford to slip up. I'm doing something I don't do. I'm gonna probably take this tattoo to the wire. That means a full six. My only concern is I don't want you tapping out or you hurt and be the reason I go home. Yeah. Because no. I'm so freaking close. Of course. I literally have no idea how to pull this off. Like, you can already pack my bags, I'm going home. They're judging off of that photo, you know, so just try and do everything you can to keep as much as you can, you know? Okay. I'm not known as a photorealism guy, but I do do it. So I'm gonna do everything I can to try and coach my guys to get to the end. Three hours remain. Three hours remain. I'm doing a tattoo that I've never done before and I don't know how to do, so I'm learning as I go. The bottom will hurt a little bit more. I want to come out of this competition a stronger tattooer with a stronger mindset. I have it in me, I just gotta find it and pull it out. You all right? Uh, I'm hanging in. Maybe do some little intervals. Keep her in the chair and noodle away. She's flopping around like a fish out of water. It's not efficient when you have to take a break every 10 minutes. This is top five. I'm so close, but this is the one challenge I could send me packing. Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Tony. 
at first glance, you capture what the animal is, but for precision in your tattoo, you're missing this jowl, that heavy muscle, so that that thing would be able to grab a crocodile by the head and pull it up the riverbank. The other thing is, I am not a fan of the white whiskers with nothing backing them. That's a crazy play but it's tough to not recognize a cat with spots on it for what it is. So in that way, I think you got a blessing and a curse. There's an upside to this and a downside. It's gonna be a tough day, man. Today, you must tattoo traditional illustrative portraits. Ooh. My life. What? I love doing portraits, but what is a traditional illustrative portrait? We're gonna find out. I mean, I would just think that the word illustrative alone really loosens up what we're looking for, yeah? Either it looks like a or it doesn't, and if it doesn't, you lose, and if it does, you're in a great shape. This is gonna be interesting. Let's meet your canvases. I would like to get a colored portrait of my daughter on my shoulder blade. Oh, portraits of little kids. That is really hard. Their features are so soft. Definitely the hardest one up there. Oh, I just got nauseous. Canvases. One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Oh, nervous. The little girl. Laura. You know, I think in the new baby, little kids, it's really, really hard. I think you're going to get me. She's such a cutie. My canvas wants a portrait of her daughter on her shoulder blade. I'm just making sure it's like super, super clean. I've been excited for portrait day since day one. I'm gonna make it look <laughs> great, just, you know, cause it's your daughter. The kid portrait is a difficult ask, but I think the full body one was probably more difficult. And I'm really surprised that Pond gave that to himself. I don't think mine's traditional enough. We'll make it. How do I do that? There's so many factors that come into play specifically with child portraits that you cannot do. You can't put harsh lines on the eyes or anything or else the child can either look like it's wearing makeup or that they're older than they really are. Dude, everyone's doing different stuff. I don't get it. They want what uh, Jason's doing. How am I supposed to do that with a little kid? That was the whole point. Oh, okay. So that's the curveball you guys were throwing me. Yeah. My mind automatically flocks to realism when I do portraits, so I'm still stuck in that mindset. I think I'm in trouble for the first time. To try to completely change that, I mean, I hate to say it, but I might have just found my weak spot. Where I was all, you know, really pumped for portrait day, and I, I don't know what happened. Today, you had to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait. Laura. It is a nice, well-applied tattoo, but it's hard for me to say that this really looks like this girl. The expression on the face, you're not really getting that little tight grin, and her neck looks really wild. The way you have the back of her shoulder and her neck going all the way up to the ear makes her neck enormous. That sucks. The other thing that I really dislike, these black lines you put on her forehead that aren't connected, that are just random black lines there. I know that you're trying to show the suggestive loose hairs, but it's a very strange play. Your canvases are very familiar with this competition because they have all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Let's bring out the canvases. For your very first challenge in this competition, you tattooed convention style to earn your shop. That day was intense, and every artist was under pressure. Unfortunately, that meant that some of the canvases left with jacked tattoos. Today, it's up to you to cover the worst of them. You'll be judged on both your tattoos to determine whether you're headed to the finale or headed home. The most frequently asked question I get is what happens to those poor people that get those jacked up tattoos? Well, the final four, the best guys in the building, are gonna fix those people. We've never had it be this close. This is a real deal. This last tattoo right here, this is it. This is balls to the wall tattoo, and it needs to be badass. Let's meet your canvases. This is Lance, who was tattooed by Gentle J. 
Next is Nikki, who was tattooed by King Ruck. This is Siad, who was tattooed by Melissa. And finally, this is Jessica. Jessica had a tattoo done by Jim, but had a bad reaction to the red ink. It's unsafe to cover up her tattoo, so she is an open placement canvas, and there is no cover up. Wow. All right, artists, you have six hours to do your tattoos. This is your last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the live finale. Your time begins now. Let's do it, man. Ready to be awesomeized? I am ready. This final tattoo should be the icing on the cake of everything you've done throughout this competition. This tattoo is an excuseless tattoo. I'm not giving him to say. No slacking, no holding back. This is the one that takes you to the finale or sends you home. The biggest thing is going to be working with the existing piece that you have. Okay. Trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm going to retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is going to go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is going to beat my tattoo today. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, machine's down, no more ink. Yeah. Take a look. Wow. Oh, it is amazing. Holy Dynamic. I love it. Great. Yeah, things going. Completely. Maddie's cover up just looks like a big blue blob. Sometimes he does good, and sometimes he does crap like this. It's time to get rid of him. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000 feature in Inked Magazine and the title of Ink Master. Sausage, you reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover up and belt in a ton of black didn't make sense. So I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually going to be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big bright flowers. Now I'm going to do this really fine line detail and really show some nice soft black and gray is top notch. This is such a unique way to put these different ideas together into one tattoo. He didn't just cookie cutter it together. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for someone to really put up a fight and do something above and beyond. And I feel like you've done it. Thank you guys very, very much. Scott. Overall, the color palette is strong, really solid, clean application. It has your signature all over it. Up close, you can definitely see the Nautical Star ghost outline through there. If this could have been moved over just a little bit to keep that out of that yellow lip, that would have been better. No matter where I moved it, it was poking out here and poking out there, so. But you know yellow's not covering. Maddie. Well, look at this tattoo from a distance. It has a cover-up feel just because the blue is so dark. The tattoo that's not the cover-up, I love the layout. I love how much open skin you left in it. That's what makes me harp on the blue roses being so dense even more. The same size roses, it's a bit much because everything the same size makes a mosaic look. If you stagger the sizes with bigger leaves and then maybe little buds, you can get more bang for your buck and more dynamics. Looking at this, the eye is just totally drawn to the blue spot. Halo. This canvas was completely open, brand new tattoo, yet you just did this. If I look at this tattoo as a whole, and I look at the tattoo from yesterday as a whole, the one from yesterday has a better aesthetic feel, fits the body better, that tattoo is a better tattoo. If you're gonna do the same thing again, you had a lot more freedom and a lot more size on this tattoo, this one should have been better. Uh, dude, I killed myself on this one. The tattoo overall is a beautiful tattoo. The water droplets on the petals, super glossy and HD, but then you have areas in the flowers that are very flat. Those pistols, there's no outline on one side of one. The outlines don't connect, they're just kind of here and there. You didn't put in the same level of work throughout. You didn't make it as interesting as you made it before. 
Today, you had to prove that you have what it takes to compete in the live finale. The four of you have battled to be standing here. However, there can only be one winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. Ultimately, only three of you can move on to the live finale. The judges have decided. Maddie. You have earned your spot in the live finale. What the f oh. Congratulations. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Halo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Halo, it was a blast watching your work, man. It's been a real pleasure for us to see the real tattooers stand up. I've said you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master about 50 times, and this is the most heart-wrenching time I've ever had to say it. Thanks, guys. Dan, welcome back. Thank you. You brought your wife, Gerald, in here. Nice to see you. Hi. So your artist was Billy Vegas. Yes. I like to get Baku on my head. Billy? Oh. Billy. Oh. Wow. Everything that is covered by hair, I would like to be covered by tattoo. It's just too much. So maybe we could either do a side panel or the whole top. This claw's thrown me off. All right, we'll, we'll fix that real quick. That's fine. If not, you know, we can throw it here. It's not even finished. It doesn't have front teeth because you blacked them out. He wanted more of an elephant face. He also wanted to give it more tiger-like ears. I'll say that ear looks more like a Dorito chip than a tiger ear. It was supposed to be Baku, which is a traditional Japanese dream eater. Turns out it looks like roadkill with some weird tribal and a Dorito ear. There is absolutely no detail whatsoever. The actual Baku itself is just one flat shade of gray and scar tissue. I know you guys went back and forth about where you were putting the tattoo, if it was gonna be on your head. Well, the tattoo should have gone on my head, but really the design was that bad that I wasn't going to let that. So happen. why did you let the design go? anywhere if it was already bad. Because I saw his portfolio and I trusted him as an artist. I am so embarrassed anytime anyone sees me from the TV show But then you've been on twice, if I'm twice. not mistaken. Billy tattooed me a second time. He got my kneecap. That was the star? Yes. In this flash challenge, you'll be applying one of the most popular designs to your canvas, a beveled star. Billy. Dan got his knee done, let's take a look. It's weird, it's kind of brown. So's he. I thought that somebody was messing with me when I got him for a and second And it was literally time. just the luck of the draw. Yes. That's how it happened. I picked it. It was my fault both times I picked <laughs> him. What were you thinking of doing? I would love to get my bulldog that just recently passed away, a portrait of her on my ribs. I do, from what I've seen in your portfolio, love your visual portraits, and I think you could really do a good job if you put yourself to it. It's always an honor for me when I get to do a memorial for someone. It's more stressful, of course. Just make the likeness correct. Do a good job. Okay. And her name was Zoe, if you want to add that to it. You know, fancy script. And no black tribal backgrounds. No black tribal. Or Dorito chips. This would be your third time getting tattooed by him, and the other two weren't so good. He's got a lot to prove, that's for damn sure. You really have to be super sure. I'm not dealing with another ugly tattoo on you when you come home. If I don't like it, I'll walk out. I definitely had a short fuse on season one, but a lot's changed in the past few years, and I've definitely evolved as an artist and as a person. This is my reputation on the line. This is my specialty. I do portraits for a living. I have to get redemption on this. Billy, come on in, man. Dan, Geraldine. So how did the consult go with Billy? I asked for a portrait of my dog that had passed away. Sorry to hear um, that. Thank you. You might be tattooing a guy who's unhappy with your work for the third time. Mm-hmm. Third time's a charm, hopefully. Well, Billy, you want to present what you came Absolutely. up with? Absolutely. Here's the edited photo. I did some tweaking on it just to get the colors and the values correct. I started messing with some lettering. I then drew the stencil of it where I cleaned up where there's a lot of details lost. You can see that I was able to find the teeth, find the eyes, delineate where the nostrils end and the nose begins. So as long as the drawing looks in your head what your dog looked like, then we can move forward with that. Do you guys want to talk among yourselves for a moment? 
Yeah, if you don't mind, Please thank do. you. Her nose, I feel like it's off. The thing that was like in my face that really was irritating me was right under her jawline. The line is just, it's wrong. I'm not too thrilled with the script. That's a lot. I don't know. Gerilyn and Dan, how was your little talk over there? Uh, saw some discrepancies in the photo. Really? In real life, her nose is so much more symmetrical. And like that line there. And the script, right? Something script, more yeah. flowing. Oh, I have a, little... a few different options I drew. Okay. So that's something that we can swap in and out. But as for the discrepancies with the dog, I don't know her. I'm gonna need your help on that. You guys could go in there and tweak this thing. Yeah, we could work on it together. Okay. Let's work on it a little bit and see. You wanna go to the shop and give it yeah, a shot together? Sure. Sounds good. It is an unusual situation because the picture is rough. The picture is super dark, so Billy did the best he could with it. I'd love to see him get a shot of redemption here because this guy has been burned twice by Billy. Is that starting to look more like her? It's in the same ballpark. OK. A little bit of a highlight right there and right there. Are you kidding me? You're going to make me render out this whole design with pencils so that you can see what it looks like? So that gives you a way better idea than what I could stencil. What do you think? I can't say, like, I love it at this point. I mean, obviously, but I do see the likeness. When you look at it, do you see her? I see the likeness, yes. As for the lettering. How about get rid of the script altogether and... Let's focus on the portrait. You know, I'll give you the chance. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Here we go. I definitely came off with a short fuse on season one. So were you surprised to see me when I walked through the door? I can't say completely because there weren't too many canvases that I had issues with like that. Dan doesn't really like to talk about that experience. I've always just had to duck my head and say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's on my leg, I can't show it. Not my proudest moment. I don't like when clients are unhappy. I'm confident that we're all gonna walk away from this having a good experience. I just know that I got to make you happy because, you know, the boss matters. <laughs> Are you scared of me, Billy? <laughs> it's definitely a lot more pressure added when you have two people over your shoulder. We are finished. Awesome. <laughs> if you'd like, hop up. Boss lady's got to come, too. Is it her? It's spot on, it really is. Did a phenomenal job, amazing. It looks more like her than the actual photograph did. Even the little reflection off of her lips down mm -hmm. there, it's perfect. Yeah, now I want him to tattoo me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> She's a little more critical, I think. So he definitely got redemption. That dog looks exactly like the photo, if not better, and I'm proud to put my name on it. But let me ask you, you ready to shake my hand now? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Thank <laughs> you awesome. very much. Awesome. Earl, Chris, Keto, Brian, Duffy, Matt, Miami, Ryan, Marissa, you lost your head-to-head -head competitions. You must now prove that you deserve to be here. Woo. This is your first elimination tattoo. This week, you're being judged on overall ability. Overall ability is showing that you have the bones of tattooing, solid lawn work and saturated color, and how to make it look good on the body. To survive the first elimination, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants. Dude. But that is not all. Hey, what? Your canvases are very familiar with this competition because they have all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Let's bring out the canvases. Canvases. One by one, please tell us what tattoo you're looking to get and where. A realistic portrait of a demon, but it has to have my facial features. This isn't going to win this challenge. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I got to make sure this is something I want. I'd like a Celtic cross incorporating firefighting equipment. It's going to be tough, man. I'm actually pretty open. I have a library stamp that says Property of Steve. Oh, awesome. I don't know how much more this I can take. So it's finished, right? She cannot take the pain. She's kind of a plus. Canvases. Since this tattoo is all about you, you'll be choosing your artist randomly. The canvases do that? OK, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo whatever your canvas wants. If your tattoo is the worst, you will be the first artist to pack your machines. 
Good luck. So you've been here, done this, huh? Yeah. Was it a good experience? It was a bad experience. Tyler beat me for the first time in his career. See how my dude's doing. Good, man. I feel like about it. I can imagine that there's got to be some new egos popping up. Yeah, I'm in it to win it. This is good and it hurts all at the same time. If you get a downward, you get more of a harsher line. He's suggesting things, and I'm not always going to agree with it. You're rushing it too fast. Chill. Bam. I didn't get here by crawling. I got here on my own. I got it. We're an autopilot now. You good? This is crazy. She's twitching. She's moving. I feel like I'm in the back of a pickup truck trying to do this tattoo right now. Bam. Stop. There is no way I'm going to let this bitch be the reason I'm going home. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Hop up and take a look. Real nice. The chain came out real nice. Thanks, dude. You're doing a portrait, and you failed at it, man. Master that before you do it. Otherwise, you're going to fail. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Brian. The overall ability in this tattoo is questionable. You completely lost it on the lettering. Looking at the E, look how many wobbles and stuff there are in a line that's about that big. If you can't pull a line this big, how are you going to pull a line this big? I can do it. I can pull clean lines, and I'm confident in that. I didn't show it. Hell of a time to hold back. Chris. As far as it being a phoenix, you don't really have any real definition of feathers. It just looks like a big red parrot with a more evil head on it. We're looking for overall ability, but looking at your line work, you do have a lot of blowouts. To work with that skin was, was quite rough. Do a smaller tattoo, take your time, make it bulletproof. Duffy. This is a really cute, solid tattoo. Nice, clean line work. The black shading, creating the contrast, blending out smoothly to the color. Looks very solid. Shows your ability to do all the necessary requirements. It came out very cute. Thank you. Ryan. This tattoo would have been 100% better without any of this background. It's just clouding what this image is. From across the room, this guy's got a huge gray square on the top of his thigh. Is that showing me overall ability? It's showing me wasted time. If we just look at the nose of this tattoo, there's nothing that tells me that's a nose. You need to be in there sharp. This is not to come in and showcase what you do. It's to come in and showcase that you can do it all. Today, you had one last chance to prove your overall ability. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to pack your machines. All right, judges, who's going home? Obviously not Duffy. Chris, I understand that there were blowouts, but it is much cleaner. Clearly, we are debating the two portraits. You guys talk a lot about fundamentals, apprenticeship. Lettering is a fundamental. That's a strike against Brian. Final decision? Brian. Chris? Brian. The judges have decided. Brian, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. Very first challenge in this competition, you tattooed convention style to earn your shop. That day was intense, and every artist was under pressure. Unfortunately, that meant that some of the canvases left with jacked tattoos. Today, it's up to you to cover the worst of them. You'll be judged on both your tattoos to determine whether you're headed to the finale or headed home. The most frequently asked question I get is what happens to those poor people that get those jacked up tattoos? 
Well, the final four, the best guys in the building, are gonna fix those people. We've never had it be this close. This is the real deal. This last tattoo right here, this is it. This is balls to the wall tattoo. Let's meet your canvases. This is CI, who was tattooed by Melissa. Today, the power is in the hands of the canvases. Each canvas will have 10 minutes to interview you. You need to convince the canvas that you want that you're the artist for them. After the interviews, the canvases will choose the artist that they think can give them the tattoo that they want. Just like kickball. So everyone's been running. This is a mess. Because this is so big and your cover-ups are usually two to three times larger than what you have, I think what we could do is definitely go in here and do a really nice circle, put monuments in, okay. and then use elements of the map around. I don't want this canvas. You have had the best ideas so far. See, Ivan, you're up next. Sausage. This is definitely the hardest canvas. This tattoo is going to be a bitch to cover up. I fought tooth and nail to get to this point. I'm gonna win this battle, and I'm gonna claim my spot in the top three. The biggest thing is gonna be working with the existing piece that you have, okay. trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm gonna retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is gonna go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. That would be pretty sweet. Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is going to beat my tattoo today. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale, Sausage. You reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover up and belt in a ton of black didn't make sense. So I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually going to be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big bright flowers. Now I'm going to do this really fine line detail and really show some nice soft black and gray is top notch. This is such a unique way to put these different ideas together into one tattoo. He didn't just cookie cutter it together. This is what we're looking for. Thank you guys very, very much. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. Marie, welcome back. Your artist was Tattoo Baby. Yes. Today, you must permanently tattoo these hot human canvases with a garter tattoo. The only thing that concerns me is the time for hours. So let's make it work for both of us. Tattoo Baby is an awesome artist. I've seen her art, I follow her on the internet, you know, I look at all her stuff. I thought that it was in the bag when I had her as an artist. You take that level of excitement, and then you get this, and then what? <laughs> I have an unfinished tattoo. My garter belt has a lot of different textures. I am not going to finish this tattoo in time. Tattoo baby. You're a pretty fast tattooer. We've seen you do some big stuff quick. This one has so much detail that I was like, I'm just going to play safe in what I can get done instead of rushing through it. Because it's an unfinished piece, it almost looks like simply a better version of what you have on that right leg. So I'm not getting garter from it at all. I just don't understand how she couldn't finish. I was the only canvas that didn't get a garter. Now, you're a young, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. You probably wear revealing material. Oh, yeah. Has this affected what you can wear? I love being naked. I'm yeah. comfortable in my body. I understand. Um, I take a lot of selfies, and I get asked about the tattoo all the time. It's embarrassing to say I went on Ink Master to yeah. get a garter tattoo, and my tattoo artist didn't finish. Well, she is here in the shop. Nuh-uh. I brought her up. She does not know that you're here. What would you say if I gave you the opportunity to go into the shop confront her, and then, if you're willing, talk to her about possibly completing your garter tattoo. What if she 
got my already existing tattoo. What Very... if she makes it so that I can't wear my booty shorts anymore? Well, let me explain something to you. That is an inherent risk in the world of tattooing. Would you be willing to talk to her and just see how it goes? Absolutely. If she's in there, why don't you go ahead in there and uh, talk to baby? All right. All right, good luck, Marie. Thanks. Tattoo baby did let me down. She left me standing there with an unfinished piece of work. I've been waiting to say, why the hell didn't you finish my tattoo? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, wow, let me take a look at that thing. Yeah, I wish that tattoo was finished. I mean, I don't understand why you couldn't finish it. Everybody else was like doing their tattoos. They all got theirs done. I did not want to rush my tattoo like I've done on other episodes. I wanted to do the best. The coloring, it's like faded out a little bit. It looks slanted. Like I don't want to leave with a crappier tattoo than I already have. I've been noticing as I'm staring at it, it looks like it's slanted. From what it seems to me a little bit, it's yeah. not this part, it's just this little extension. Yeah. It does seem to go a little bit higher. Uh-huh. I also noticed it's like faded out a little bit. Is there any way that we could fix this shading? Because I don't really know what that is. I think that the effect that I was trying to go for, like if it was laying on you, kind of see the drop shadow from it. Okay. So what I can do is I could just add a little thicker border. Okay. And since it is a garter, would you be happy if I finish it with a nice bow? I just don't want it to look like two different tattoos. Like I don't want to leave with a crappier tattoo than I already have. I'm, I'm just, I'm just nervous. The good thing, I think, is that you're getting it done by the same artist. We already have, like, a foundation of what the tattoo is. I just hope that you can make it look amazing. I felt so bad about not finishing. I felt like the ugly kid in the room, like everybody did their job and I didn't finish it. I really hope she lets me finish this tattoo so I can get my redemption. Hi, baby. Come on down. So how do you feel about Tattoo Baby to let her possibly finish and rework? I'm still a little nervous because, you know, it's gonna be two different tattoos coming into one. This is all about you, you know? We don't have time limitations. I'm not stressed or nervous. I'm just ready to do the, a better tattoo than I did the first time. Marie, are you ready to see Baby's design? I am. Here we go. Basically, I grabbed the same elements that you already have because we want it to look like the same tattoo. What we spoke about was the bow falling down your thigh as the sexiest like element yeah. on there, so this is it. That bow is a nice element. What do you think? I do like the bow. My concern is the white space here. That's just gonna be white space and everything, and this would be like the lace border that we talked about. Yes, I made it tinier here because we didn't want to have it like so bulky. So if you see on like one side, yeah. you see how it gets thinner? That shape, you know, gives it more of a flow instead of it being something so like thick. Redemption on the line for Tattoo Baby and some closure for you because you've had to live with what you think is a half finished tattoo for a long time. Yeah. You gonna go ahead and do this? It's a big commitment. You can also walk away. I'm gonna let her tattoo me. All right, awesome. there you go. All right, girls, so head into the shop and get going. Let's get it done. Ow! You're doing great. It's coming out beautiful. Oh my God. The inner thigh is so sensitive. She's twitching a little bit. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh my God, that's like the bone or something back there or something. I'm really nervous that my canvas is going to tap out. If she walks out of here with another unfinished tattoo, I will not have my redemption. <laughs> Sorry. How long has it been that you've been waiting to finish this? Since 2013. There we go. Just hold on a little bit and we make sure that this time around, you leave with your tattoo finished. Ah! So I think we might need like 20 more minutes. Oh my gosh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> I think we might be done. Here we go. Wow. You like it? I love it. 
That bow looks like it's floating on my skin. Isn't that hot? I can't believe it's the same tattoo. That is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so excited! You got your redemption. Yes. <laughs> Another redemption for Tattoo Baby with a beautiful tattoo. Wow. This is what I should have walked away with the first time. Yes. Today, you must help your canvas make a bold statement by tattooing a very prominent part of the body. The forehead. Forehead tattoos. Really? Out of control. If you mess up on somebody's arm, they can wear a shirt over it. Forehead, are you going to walk around with a headband for the rest of your life? You must use ingenuity to create a design that works with the awkward shape of the forehead and complements the features of the face. Play to the sensibilities of who you're tattooing. They're asking to get their foreheads tattooed. Then be mindful of what it is you're tattooing and play into that. Do something beautiful. Using ingenuity is huge on a forehead because you gotta make sure that it works with their hairline, with their eyebrows, and you need a good, steady, solid hand. Sure you wanna go solid white on the stars? Or just highlights. Oh, that's really way doper. I'm not nervous one bit. I can tattoo anything, anytime. A little bit of shaving right here. I hope these new guys drop the ball. I want to see the all-veteran finale. All right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. Clean, you basically reworked an existing tattoo, correct? It was about eight different tattoos. You showed a lot of ingenuity. You basically redid multiple tattoos and tied everything together into one big forehead tattoo. Couple of downsides, the two sides that fade in, they're not completely symmetrical. The cracks come a little bit of different shapes. If you could have just brought those in and made a more symmetrical shape, when you look at them straight on, it would have just been a little bit more on the aesthetic side. Clean did a rework, a couple of stars and some cracks and a touch up, that's not gonna win. All right, guys, today we're testing ingenuity with forehead tattoos. Let's talk about Clean, who basically reworked a guy's entire face. Not trying to show off, but just did a great job and hooked the canvas up with a much better look at what he already had. Megan, welcome back. So your artist was Taisha. Yes. You must all tattoo a pinup. I want her to be pretty. I want her to be sexy. You can put a bazooka in there. That would look awesome, that like she's on like the battlefield or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The tattoo was nothing like what we had talked about. On paper, the design? I'm a nurse. I wanted to represent that. Plus, my dad was in the army, so it kind of was a tattoo for him. I wanted her to have a big gun and look like she was on the battlefield. I don't want her to be like the typical nurse holding the big syringe needle. And she has a ginormous needle sticking right towards her. At a certain point, though, you let her put it on you. I did. Why did you do that? It was kind of like heat of the moment, and I just felt like I trust her. Maybe it'll come out better than what it looks like on paper. You know that's a gamble. It is. The judges were extremely harsh when it came to critiquing your tattoo. The mouth, the cheek, and the nose make this thing not aesthetically pleasing. Those feet wouldn't be able to keep her upright. I mean, they're tiny, tiny little feet. There's no craftsmanship in this. You don't care enough. How upsetting was it for you that this memorial piece ended up being one of the worst? I felt like he would have kind of looked at him and be like, eh, why are you putting that on you, kind of thing. <laughs> I wanted it to be something a little more beautiful, even though it, it was supposed to be a war, like a war tattoo. Of course, so we need to make this thing right. I have Taisha in the shop. I'd like to offer you the opportunity to confront her and possibly talk to her about getting this tattoo reworked. She can draw something up, present you the design. Mm -hmm. If you like that design, you get that tattoo. If you don't like it, you bounce. OK. All right, Megan, head into the shop. Taisha's in there waiting for you. I did trust Taisha, and I feel like I kind of got played. I hate drama, but I really need to tell Taisha how she messed up this tattoo. I didn't think that I would be seeing you. What's well, up? Well, my pinup, it just wasn't what we had talked about. I wanted her to kind of be badass in memory of my dad, who was in the army. I wanted her to have, like, a big gun, look like she's at war. Right. And she kind of just looks like she's there with the needle in her hand, which I hate it, because I feel like it's, like, pointing in her face, and I'd like to try to fix her. You still want to add a gun to it and all that good stuff? Possibly in place of the needle that she has. Well, I can't take it off and move it. Her face doesn't look so pretty to me either. I would cover her face with, like, a mask or something. Okay. I mean, I like the piece. It, it didn't put you in the bottom, but 
I'm confident I can fix it up. You think so? Definitely. I really want to get this fixed, but if Taisha doesn't give me a design that I'm absolutely in love with, then I'm leaving today without a tattoo. I'm not trying to make it any worse than it is now. Now tell me right now what you would like to add to this tattoo. But you can't take the needle in her hand out, can you? No, I mean, you can't take anything out. The only thing I could do is basically put a background in there. I like horses. Mm -hmm. Maybe she can have her, like, horse next to her. OK. Just kind of, like, overhead with something else. I don't even care what it was. I was even thinking, like, stars and stripes or just a flag. Okay. Like, just black and gray. No color. I don't want blue and red. I'm with the flag, but I'm going to have it fade off at the end. OK. And I was also thinking of maybe some bombs, maybe, like, standing up, some falling over. Nothing too much, just to Yeah. If there's anything else you want to add, now's the time. I think, think that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Okay. This is the ultimate redemption because I get to fix my mistakes. I get to let my canvas walk away, not with a brand new tattoo, with a tattoo that I fixed. She gets to be happy with that. I have to get my redemption. All right. Taisha, come on down. This is a rework a military-themed pinup. What did you tell Taisha that you weren't happy with? I don't like how the hand looks and how the needle's yeah. kind of pointing at her face. Can you fix something like that? I mean, that's... I believe so, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I mean, this is what I do for a living. I do a lot of cover-ups and I do a lot of fix-rubbers. It kills me to have someone walk around with a tattoo they're unhappy with. I'm gonna give her what she wants. I'm gonna fix this tattoo. Let's see what you got, Alrighty. Taisha. Alrighty. Check it out. I know you wanted the flag in the background, and I know you wanted to take the syringe out, so I added an AK in there. I added a little bit of background, some smoke, and I added some bombs to cover up the feet just to pull the whole piece together. Redemption on the line for Taisha. I know it's an important tattoo. What's it gonna be? There's no pressure. There's no time restraints. I don't have to worry about any of the bull in the house. It's just me and you. I think I'll let you do that one. Nailed it. I think she looks definitely more badass. The design is totally what I wanted in the first place. Love it. I'm excited. All right, Taisha. Thank you very Good much. Good luck. Carry on, guys. It's a pretty cool <laughs> design, huh? I love it. All right, this is going to be a toughie to get the stencil lined up with the actual tattoo, but we'll manage. This is going to be so difficult. It's tough to line up a uh, stencil with a pre-existing tattoo because every little part has to match up. Can you just a little bit off? It can get a little frustrating. So if this chip I don't get it on, I'm gonna cut it into pieces and put it on like that. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I wanna get it right. I want it to look good because it's a representation of her and her father. Yep, I'm gonna break this bad boy up. I'm gonna cut it up. It's my chance to like redeem myself, not mess up again. That looks awesome. Ready for some fun? I'm ready. What's the pressure like when you're on the show? When you have, like, so many other personalities, it's really stressful. A lot of drama. Yeah. yeah, too much drama. And I feel like I got caught up in the drama, and I wish I hadn't. I wish I would have kept my head in the tattoos, and that's it. We are done. Awesome. Let's check it out in the mirror. It looks a thousand times better. Her face is completely different. Her body looks better. Got rid of that needle out of her hand. I really do love it. It's gorgeous. Do you think your dad would be proud of you? I think he would be happy with it. That's all I want to hear. This tattoo is such a better memorial to my dad. Everything that I originally dreamed that this tattoo was going to be, she was able to make it for me. I'm so happy that I put my trust in you, because I love it now. Ladies, bring it down here. It's a totally different tattoo. I gotta say, and no offense, but I have not seen that quality of tattooing out of you since I've known you. I'm like totally more comfortable without the drama, without the competition yeah, over man. my head. I can focus on the tattoo, you know? Sure. I can focus on my canvas. Big question. Redemption for Taisha, what do you say? I say definitely yes. It's like a completely different girl on my leg. I got my redemption. And now, when she looks down at this tattoo, she sees that badass pinup. I'm proud of that. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye thank guys. you. Thank Seriously. you so much. <laughs>
Thank you for letting me do this. Well, I know for sure this cannot possibly be something that I did. So I'm here to help out some poor schmuck. Junior, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was St. Mark. Correct. Today, you must create Egyptian tattoos. I gotta hurry and get this headdress done so I can get onto that snake. This is exciting. Looks like a damn picture. Damn, this looks real. I remember you looking at it going, yeah, man, this is the Pumped, it was you darker. Were so happy. Yeah, it was dark, it looked real good. It looked like it had lighting on it. It's faded now, yeah. it looks like it's 50 years old. It's not crisp. It's not crisp at all. The detail's not there, it's, just, it's a bunch of black. I'm pissed. He was really good at making me feel comfortable. How long have you been tattooing? 25 years. 25 years, nice, man. That's a good thing, that's a good very thing. Very confident. Right, right, right. You've got one of the strongest players in the whole house. Nice. Yeah, they're very afraid. He does talk a good game. I don't want to say I'm embarrassed, okay. but I mean, because I was an ink master, I was able yeah. to, you know, meet people like it's you. It's still a cool experience. Right, still a cool experience. But you got to live with it. Experience doesn't outweigh of something I have to have on my arm for the rest of my life. Exactly. You know, if I want to wear a short sleeve or take off my shirt. Oh yeah. I kind of want to be like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, no, nothing's over here. As you're watching the judge's commentary, does your heart kind of sink into your stomach? You need to put some details in the snake. In the beard, you could have lined that out and put some more sharp, crisp details in there. This kind of tattoo is kind of the absence of detail. I saw your guys' criticism was, I'm like, damn, he's right. Do you want to confront St. Mark? Yeah, how do right. I do? I have St. Mark here. I'm gonna give you the opportunity to go into the shop and tell him what you think. Oh, I will. If you guys can make peace, and if you feel comfortable, I can get him to rework this thing for you. If you don't want to do that, you're out of here. It's all good. He needs to not talk, sit down, make a good tattoo, and redeem himself. Because this right here is garbage. Are you heading the shop? Let's do it. Go say hello to St. Mark. I'm back because I'm pissed, man. I want to tell this tattoo artist that calls himself, you know, the tattoo god. You're not a tattoo god. He has everything to lose. I have nothing to lose. What's up, my man? I did not expect to see you. I know, not, not I know. At all. Hey, I hear you, but uh, a little bit disappointed. You want to take a quick look? Let's have a look. Sure. Oh, it looks pretty good. What's the problem? I mean, faded. It's very faded. And then, you know, the lack of detail, you know, the outlining, this wasn't your best work. I think you're being a little dramatic. I get such a response from my fans about this particular mm -hmm. tattoo over and over again. Yeah, I have, I have a rather decent following as well. And it's 50-50. It's After the show, I started getting text messages, hey, listen, Junior, that Cobra man, that doesn't even look like a Cobra man. And it does look like a 50-year-old tattoo as opposed to a one-year-old tattoo. I have like 20 tattoos. I don't like this one the most. I would like to see some outlining, some detailing. Working with what you have here, that you can get more detail oh, in sure. here. For sure, yes. During the time we had to work with, I was trying to nail those tones and make sure that everything was really smooth, which I think we achieved. Okay, I mean, uh, given another session on this, and I really think it was some, some added contrast and saturation. I think yeah. we can make it pop. I need it to pop, man, I need it to pop. It's on my body, I want him, for one day, just say, you know what, enough with the antics, let me sit down and give this guy a great tattoo because it's me. I'm the one leaving with the tattoo if I decide to get it. I wanna see you put it together first. Okay. I appreciate you giving me a shot at doing that. All right, we'll see. I think this tattoo looks great already but I'm gonna take this great tattoo and I'm gonna knock it out of this universe. I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't think this guy's gonna pass up another chance to be tattooed by me. Guys, what's up? St. Mark, come on back. Tattoo God. Behold. So you're gonna offer Junior a reworking. I wouldn't say it's so much of a rework as like a, a finishing session. Really. Okay, so you admit that it's not finished. Well, there was a time constraint. And I, I admit that if I would've had more time, there definitely would've been more, more happy. You want to see what he came up with? Sure, let's see. What I would like to do, essentially another pass of texture and detail that we just couldn't get to the first time. And I'd like to add some, some motion and fill your arm up. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What's this stainish look well, I'm here? I'm gonna like crack the, uh, like crack the statue it. up, yeah. And then, is that an addition right here? I thought maybe like a glowing eye of Rob might, might okay. be something to set it off at the top of your shoulder. So, is that white in there? I would like to plan on doing some, some white highlights for sure, just in small areas to kind of definitely give it that crisp pop that I think you're looking for too. We're gonna have a lot of black pushed into, into the, like around the face that's just really gonna make that, that energy pop right there. If I may, it doesn't look all that different than what's on his arm. Well, there's, there's nothing really about the tattoo I have to correct. 
So what do you say, man? Are you thinking about getting this? We got this. Me and you. Uh... So you can take an out-of-focus King Tut and get it slightly less out-of-focus. I can't get it to be as black on the papers. Like well, of, of course, of course. But, uh, of course, but yeah, I, I think uh, a good dose of black will, uh, will take care of it. I know that redemption's on the line for you. I know that line work isn't something that you love to do, but I need you to use whatever it is in your forte to make this tattoo pop. I will do my pop. best. I'll incorporate some lines. You want to make it right? I do. Let's do it, man. All right, thank you. Let's do it. Thank you. All right, looks like we got a deal. Have at it, guys. Am I crazy? Or does that look exactly like what's on the guy's arm? He's taking a blurry King Tut and changing it magically into another blurry King Tut. This is crazy. We are not gonna stop tattooing until you're happy. Sounds good. Going from my initial interactions with you, I don't think you're a dickhead. Yeah. I'm a sweetie pie. But seeing the show, and I saw how you were with the other artists. My aggressive attitude could be attributed to the fact that it's a, it's a competition setting. Right, right. I wanted to stay on their minds 24-7. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wanted, yeah, I wanted them going to sleep, dreaming about me, waking yeah, up. Yeah. First there face they see is mine. <laughs> Time to check this back way out. This looks crazy, man. I like the detail now, man. Yeah, the black really made his like face it. pop out. Looks bold, you know? Definitely not afraid to show this off now. I might wear tank tops again, That's you know? That's what I want to hear. Say Mark, Junior, come on over. Junior, what do you think? I love it, man. Yeah? How do you feel? I'm really, I was worried at first, but I'm glad it came Why back. Why were you, I've never seen you worry about well, anything. Well, I wasn't worried about making me happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a given. But I wanted to make him happy, and I think I succeeded. Let me step back a little bit, because you know what's crazy is it really does read from here. Yeah, the black really makes it light up. I gotta be honest, I was concerned. I was I, concerned too, to be honest. Well, with I mean, you. I thought he was just kind of doing what he does and like just kind of making another version of the same thing. He listened, you know, he asked him if he could just yeah, make it no bold doubt. and he listened definitely. He added to it as you can see I, on I top. gotta say, this up here looks, it just sits really nice. I'm loving it, man. That sounds a lot like redemption to me. Yeah, absolutely. Junior is now leaving with an even more badass tattoo than he had before. Another canvas has been blessed by the touch of the tattoo god. Most people wear their tattoos with pride, but one in seven have a tattoo they regret. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. All right, let's meet your canvases. What are you looking to get today? I would like a nature scene with flowers, butterflies, birds that represent my family. This tramp stamp is rough. It's really big, it's really dark, and it's packed with existing color. Whoever gets this is totally screwed. All right, guys, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Gian. Oh, man. I'm interested to see Gian think his way out of this one. Some of these flowers going for the other side now. What color are you doing them? I'm going for red, because that way uh -huh. I can do the butterfly blue and that blue little one that you got here to match with the other one. Oh, okay. And then you got like hot and cold. This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy is definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover up. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Gian. 
Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. He covered up every bad design and line of this tattoo with a new beautiful line and design of a tattoo. And the quality and the technical application of which he applied this whole tattoo is amazing. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian is far and above the cleanest tattoo of the day. Do you think his technical application is better than Kelly's? Right. I think it's on par. Kelly's tricks outweigh Gian's. So you're saying best tattoo of the day goes to Gian? This is the best tattoo. Wow. The tattoo of the day that is strong technical application and beauty and fit and everything encompassing, whether it's a cover up or not, is Gian. Wow. I came here to prove myself, get some redemption. I don't know how this is gonna work out. It's definitely a very anxious moment for me. Hello, sir. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming. We'll see what you got. So what do you think about wanting to do? I would really like to fix it up. As you can tell, it like faded. I mean, it can be spiced up a little bit. I was thinking of putting a gun in it. Western style revolver. Yeah, we can definitely do something like that. Okay. You understand, like, it was a flash challenge. We don't have any idea what we're walking to. There's a lot of pressure, and I, especially on that day. I understand with the time constraints and the stress. Uh -huh. I just, you know, now I want to wear something I can be proud of to say, hey, Craig gave me this instead of, he ran out of time. You deserved it. Why don't you go take a seat, and I'm going to put together a little sketch. OK. Then we'll go from there. Thank you. Craig, why don't you go ahead and reveal to Stephanie the design you came up with for her? What I plan on doing is kind of crisping it up and add a pistol underneath it. You said you like really old revolver. I'm going to kind of put some texture in it, make it look like it's been around. As far as the gun goes, I would like the handle to be more swirly. Can that be done? Yes, it can. Stephanie, are you going to give him a shot of redemption? OK, let's put on the stencil and see how it goes. So it sounds like you guys are half in, half out. So I'm going to let this go over to you, Greg. I'm going to let you stencil this up. I have faith that once these stencils are on the skin, it's going to be impossible to say no. To say no. So that's just my thinking. So I redesigned the handle. If you look at it, I took the wood grain away, and then I just kind of gave it like an engraved kind of handle. I love it. Wonderful. Ready? No, but do I have a choice? No. It's cool, like, I'm actually getting an opportunity to just take my time with a tattoo that was definitely rushed. I really just wanted this fixed up. You deserve that. Oh, well, thank you. Even if you did have to stalk me at my house. <laughs> That is it. Let's go check it out. <gasps> that detail. Look at the gun. It looks like it's popping through. I love that. And then the gun has some scratches on it. That's awesome. This young lady has used this gun before, so mind your business. <laughs> yes. Craig Foster. Steph, come on down. Wow. The handle is really cool on that gun. And I really love how you can see the barrel of the gun underneath the garter. This is what I wanted. You know what, Craig? When you see a smile like that, you know that's a satisfied client. Am I right? Yes, it's 100% improvement from when we walked yes. up on our house. What say you? Oh, I gave him redemption. So I'm just going to, you're welcome. Look at that. <laughs> see that? And hugs. That's what happens in the redemption house. All season long, you've been tattooing head to head. But today, you've truly met your match. You have one last head to head battle against yourself. What does that mean? I feel like we're all about to get our asses handed to us one last time. Master or apprentice, there is no better way to learn than from your own mistakes. So today, 
you get to do a do-over. The judges will choose the one tattoo in this competition that we feel you completely botched. You must tattoo it one more time. And this time, you've got to nail it. Chris, you must redo your Phoenix tattoo. You don't really have any real definition feathers. It just looks like a big red parrot with a more evil head on it. This one, I want to see it all, man. The entire bird, full view. Don't do a firebird, do a phoenix. I got one last shot at this whole competition, and this phoenix is going to get me into the finale. Cruzman, you must tattoo a stained glass carousel horse. You got the same colors and the same tones of the same colors in the foreground and background, so it's hard to tell what's going on. Jesus Christ, this has got to be the craziest twist of this whole competition. This could be the downfall of me, man. I really don't know how to do this style of tattooing. Craig, you must redo your Neptune tattoo. This is the least dynamic thing you've probably ever done. You pound this terrible grayish blue all over it, which isn't saturated. Everything in that thing was just way off. Today's your day to turn way on. Out of all the challenges, that was definitely the most difficult day I had tattooing here. Working so hard for this long, fourth place is going to be a bitter, bitter, bitter taste. Hearing the critiques and knowing exactly why you messed something up is a great chance to learn and build. If you come back and you redeem yourself and you're strong in this challenge, you'll make it to the finale. You say your competition's tough or no? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, man. But I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could beat tough competition. We're looking for perfection. I don't want to see somebody <laughs> up twice. I'm excited because that first Phoenix I did, even I wasn't happy with it. I'm going to do it completely different than my original tattoo. I'm going to do it in a Japanese style. You ready to go? Ready. I'm showing the judges all of the skills, line work, saturation, artistry, finesse, all in this one last tattoo. I've consistently had better tattoos this entire competition than Craig and Cruzman. They don't have a chance. That's that cool? Yes. When I did my first stained glass, I just did a Cruzman tattoo, and I'm going to get off that high horse. I've got to prove it to these judges that I'm no safe Sally. Now we're cooking with gas. This is our last chance to take Chris out. Craig, I need you to buckle down and make this happen. The other person that I did one on didn't really want a side, and she wanted an anchor. Last time I did this tattoo, I was not in my element, wasn't thinking right. It was just a rough day, you know? I feel like I just cannot get a win with color. So black and gray seems like the best option. The black and gray is definitely going to let us get a lot more done. This will be the most important tattoo I do. Got to make this one count. Craig, if you don't go to the finale, I'll be more heartbroken than you are. This is your final hour. One more hour. Enjoying the day off. <laughs> you know, if it gets too hard, it's okay to give up. <laughs> My canvas is starting to lose it. She's really struggling. She's starting to tear up. <laughs> Get back in that cool space again. I've left my loving girlfriend, my new baby, my two children, all to come here to compete. I cannot go home now over this silly little phoenix. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, I'll get you up. It's awesome. Craig's been struggling with his saturation for the last couple weeks, so instead of taking it on head to head, he decides to puss out and do black and gray. Turn out good, man. And for that reason alone, you should go home. Today, each of you tattooed head to head against yourself. This was your last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the live finale. Chris, let's start with you. My comments were that there was no detail in your previous Phoenix. And this is what I was talking about. Seeing the feathers, seeing the different textures, I really like this so much better than the previous one. Getting into the technical application of this tattoo, a lot of bright colors, a lot of saturation, but the outline is where you fall short. A lot of your little thin lines are kind of scratchy, and a lot of your bolder lines are inconsistent. The bold lines went around the head and around to the front of those wings pop them forward. But they didn't. It only went on one wing. The other wing doesn't have the bold line. It looks like you bold up areas that you needed to fix. You did better than the first one, but you definitely have some complications in this one. Cruzman. 
My favorite part of the whole tattoo is the saddle. The way that that aqua plays off the black really work to your advantage. The line weight and the black and the density of the way that you put the panes together makes the image look heavy. You completely came back and delivered what it was that you should have delivered day one. Thank you. Craig. One of the biggest problems with your previous Neptune was definitely design elements not flowing together. You definitely made a better design choice this time. Overall, man, you got a lot of nice fine details in the cracks, making this thing really look like a statue. But then when it comes to the eyes and nose and the mouth, the detail is gone. I almost wish that you would have just done a simpler face and had some cracks running across it and just give it that statuesque look instead of losing me with the messy face. Everything in the composition of the actual statue itself is great. It's just very tonal and very dark. You did an amazing drawing, and then you really went in and just muddied it up. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Cruzman. Congratulations, man. Feels awesome, man. That's my first tattoo of the day, this whole competition. Not only is it the best tattoo of the day, but you've earned your spot in the live finale. Thank you. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're going to do black and gray portraits. Why did you make that decision? I got eliminated season two for a black and gray portrait, and I just wanted to you know, start off where I left off. The entire perimeter of the face does not look the same. What you do, you're great at, but what you need to do is get great at everything else. Please pack your machines and close shop. I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into strengthening my weaknesses. Damn. He's been practicing like a mother Black and gray portraits? What the hell, Jesse? You're a new school artist. Why would you choose this? Wow. It's so surreal now. Doing a portrait, precision is everything. Every single line, every single dot, every single bit of shading has to be perfect. If not, your portraits will look like This one. Oh, I need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But One Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time is up, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, I love this tattoo. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I felt it necessary to prove to you guys that I could do a legitimate portrait. You took a very soft, out of focus approach to this tattoo, and it came out great. It has a lot of contrast. You kept the features of the face correct. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. All right, guys, now it's time to determine a win for today. The ones that stand out the most, obviously, Sausage, Christian, and Jesse. Jesse gave him a run for the money, for sure. James, welcome. So your artists were Jim Francis and Bubba. Yep. Jim? The one eyebrow's really big and black, and the other one's very small. Bubba. This gentleman is actually not Asian, as it turns out. No, he's not. The obvious problems in this tattoo are huge. I'm a professional wrestler, and I wear trunks. I have to have these things out in front of hundreds of people. Oh, Look no. Look at his leg. So Here now it's affecting your career. Oh, yeah. So, James, we are really sorry that this experience happened for you, and we want to try and make it up to you. We have two artists standing by in our shop. Uh, these guys are going to independently design whatever you want and you can choose between those designs, wow. or you can choose to walk away completely. But the option is yours. That sounds awesome. Why don't you head in there and meet them? Great. I feel like today could be a step forward in making things right. I'm definitely apprehensive and nervous, but I'm also very excited. Saw that coming. Ah! 
Ah, we Shocker. Do it. <laughs> hey, you like really screwed up my leg, man. And you're kind of a dick. What do you think I tried to? Do you want to get loud? Like, if you want to get loud, we well, can Well, you're like calling me an asshole and like. Because saying, you oh, are an asshole. How am I an asshole, bro? I did my best. Me, that's your best. That's why I don't do that. Holy if that's your best, how the are you still a tattoo girl? I'm not saying I didn't blow it, bro. Are you saying I have no right to be upset? I'm the one that you up. You have every right to be upset. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sure you have someone <clears throat> special in your life that has passed away. I have a up daughter of my portrait on my arm, so I know exactly how you feel. It's, it's it, part of it's the stress too, you know, that we're under the loft being down here, time limits. I mean, I understand where he was coming from. I'll do whatever I can to redeem it, bro. All right. All right. All right. I'm glad he didn't suplex me. Now that we're past what do you that, want? Let's, let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, I want some traditional, but you don't do traditional. Give us ideas. A sugar skull based on New York City. Okay. I never want a pissed off chemist ever. I feel like I have more to prove than Jim when it comes to this guy just because he's so angry at me. I'd love to redeem myself in his eyes. Baba, Jim, come on over. Let's start with you. You want to present your design? Here's my idea. It's all hand drawn. It's what we talked about. Yeah. It's the skyline, it's the elements. You have the torch, the Statue of Liberty crown. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. All right, Bubba. Pretty confident that that would fit pretty perfectly. Wow. Wow. I love the color choice. It looks beautiful. The light source is coming in very nicely. But to be honest, I'm still nervous with you tattooing me because I've never walked out of a shop unhappy. I'd love to just give you a tattoo that I can kill. I'd love to tattoo a portrait of your granddad for you. A completely redeeming portrait. And I feel like this could be like mine and your resolution. If you choose me and do not want this. <sighs> wow, so let me just clarify. It turns out that you have a choice of three different three designs. Options. Jim with the neo-traditional sugar skull. We have Bubba's more realistic design. And now you're offering him a design of his grandfather. Or you can just walk out of here and get nothing. This is hard. This is very, very hard. Jim, I love your work, but unfortunately, I think I'm gonna go with the portrait. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you did that. I have to let Bubba redeem wow. himself. Now that's a huge leap of faith. I wanna make up for what we did last time. I'm excited. I'm happy to redeem myself. It looks like that's the choice. Sorry, Jim. Portrait of the grandfather. Congratulations, Thank man. Thank you. Let's do this, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. Of course. So what did your family like think about the first one? My family wanted your head. Really? Yeah. God damn it. And then my mom gets made fun of for it. That's perfect. <laughs> it makes me feel awesome. I don't want to say the pressure's on, but the pressure might be on. Yeah. When James chose Bubba, I was like, what are you thinking? But Bubba's pulling it out, man. He's doing a great job so far. This is the ultimate test for Bubba. I'm nervous because the tattoo I'm getting today is pretty much the tattoo I got last time. And last time didn't go so well for me. You're done, my friend. Oh, dude, that's unreal. You killed it. This is why I chose you. This is amazing. Oh, thank God. Bubba and James, come on down here. Meet mom. This is the daughter of the gentleman who you've now tattooed twice. Hi, this is Bubba. Adrian. How are you? Nice Bubba? to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Let's take a look. Does it look like your dad? Wow, yes. I'm shaking. Oh, good. So that's a good oh sign, my God, right? Yeah. James, redemption for Bubba? Absolutely. It's amazing. I'm so stoked. My grandfather was a huge part of my life, and I'm very happy that I now have him, a good version of him, on my leg. All right, guys. You everybody feeling it. good? You're happy? I'm happy. Bubba, great job, dude. Thanks, Mom. Well, glowing. I'm glowing. Standing between you and the title are the next returning veterans. One competed in season two, and one competed in season seven. From Brooklyn, New York, they're here to represent House of Monkey Tattoo, Lalo and Picasso. 
feel very different since the last time I was here. I think last time I was thrown out of my element. Her lips, her nose, her eyes, they're scribbly. It looks smeared. It looks like this is on paper and you walked in the rain to get here. But the thing is, is I have the technical abilities. I've been in my head this whole time and I'm blowing it. I am very excited to be back to show everybody that I've grown as an artist and just as a person. And really, really, he got back up. He knows I got his back. What is her skin color? This mermaid looked like she was trapped in an oil spill. I really like this tattoo. The outline is weak. There's not any real solid black. Taking this from a technical level, you this up. It's like my first day in school. This is my test, but I ain't scared. I did my homework. Has it been working together? I think we are a really strong team because Picasso is one of the most inspiring artists I know. We have a good balance. We're kind of like a yin and yang. The palm tree and the ninja. Okay, guys, this week is designed to put your shop to the ultimate test. Succeed and you stay. Fail and your shop will go home as fast as you return. Go ahead and join the others. Thank you. Two returning veterans. Now there's two people who know the ins and outs of the game. It's on now. This week, we are testing technical application. Technical application is the application of the tattoo. Smooth lines, good saturation, I got this. Lalo and Picasso. As the veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in their honor, you'll all be judged on technical application. Today, you must tattoo a black and gray cherub. There it is. All around, cherubs are not easy to tattoo. They have little fingers, they have little noses, they have little eyes, they have little cheeks. And your application has to be solid, otherwise this cherub is gonna be looking real weird. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must each tattoo a cherub on the same canvas at the same time. This is gonna be a tug of war. Yep. She's so, back. Gonna be good. There's a lot of pressure here. You stay with that one? Then you no. wanna do it a little smaller and then. No, because then we're losing detail on the face. Yeah, but so many people in this competition go away because of size. I mean, you're making me overthink already. Our canvas is great. Picasso, why do you have to make it difficult? You know why the last people got kicked out, right? Yeah, because they did a giant piece of We're not doing a giant piece of We could bring both down a little. I'm, I'm going with my gut. I need to concentrate. I'm the one drawing. Let's stay in our lane. I'm just going to be stencil, and then we'll figure it out. OK. I, I don't want to get frustrated. Don't be frustrated, dude. Oh, Picasso, dude. Wait, let me do this now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We work together like two lumberjacks on the opposite ends of a saw cutting down a tree. <laughs> Are you lighting? Yes. We know how to work with each other on our best days and our worst days. I did the little shading you told me on the leg, and it looks great. Oh, see, I do have some good ideas. You have good ideas. Today, you had to prove your technical application was flawless. Lalo and Picasso, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. So let's see how you did. House of Monkey, you're up first. Overall, the designs are nice. Technical application is on par. Picasso, I think your biggest problem in a tattoo is the face. He's got a cross-eyed look, his nose is crooked, and you just put a little hard beak on him. I follow my reference, but I do see what you're saying. But I would say from the last time we saw both of you in this competition, this is much more consistent line work and much cleaner. It's pretty good. Okay. Marie, welcome back. And your artist was Tattoo Baby. Yes. Today, you must permanently tattoo these hot human canvases with a garter tattoo. The only thing that concerns me is the time for hours. So let's make it work for both of us. Tattoo Baby is an awesome artist. I've seen her art. I follow her on the internet. You know, I look at all her stuff. I thought that it was in the bag when I had her as an artist. You take that level of excitement, and then you get this, and then what? <laughs> I have an unfinished tattoo. My garter belt has a lot of different textures. I am not going to finish this tattoo in time. Tattoo, baby. You're a pretty fast tattooer. We've seen you do some big stuff quick. This one has so much detail that I was like, I'm just going to play safe in what I can get done instead of rushing to it. Because it's an unfinished piece, it almost looks like simply a better version of what you have on that right leg. So I'm not getting Gardner from it at all. I just don't understand how she couldn't finish. I was the only canvas that didn't get a Gardner. 
Now, you're a young, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. You probably wear revealing material. Oh, yeah. Has this affected what you can wear? I love being naked. I'm yeah. comfortable in my body. I understand. Um, I take a lot of selfies, and I get asked about the tattoo all the time. It's embarrassing to say I went on Ink Master to yeah. get a garter tattoo, and my tattoo artist didn't finish. Well, she is here in the shop. Nuh-uh. I brought her up. She does not know that you're here. What would you say if I gave you the opportunity to go into the shop, confront her, and then, if you're willing, talk to her about possibly completing your garter tattoo. What if she up my already existing tattoo? What Very... if she makes it so that I can't wear my booty shorts anymore? Well, let me explain something to you. That is an inherent risk in the world of tattooing. Would you be willing to talk to her and just see how it goes? Absolutely. If she's in there, why don't you go ahead in there and uh, talk to baby? All right. All right, good luck, Marie. Thanks. Tattoo baby did let me down. She left me standing there with an unfinished piece of work. I've been waiting to say, why the hell didn't you finish my tattoo? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, wow, let me take a look at that thing. I've been noticing as I'm staring at it, it looks like it's slanted. From what it seems to me a little bit, it's yeah. not this part, it's just this little extension. Yeah. It does seem to go a little bit higher. Uh-huh. I also noticed it's like faded out a little bit. Is there any way that we could fix this shading? Because I don't really know what that is. I think that the effect that I was trying to go for, like if it was laying on you, kind of see the drop shadow from it. Okay. So what I can do is I could just add a little thicker border. Okay. And since it is a garter, would you be happy if I finish it with a nice bow? I just don't want it to look like two different tattoos. Like I don't want to leave with a crappier tattoo than I already have. I'm, I'm just, I'm just nervous. The good thing, I think, is that you're getting it done by the same artist. We already have, like, a foundation of what the tattoo is. I just hope that you can make it look amazing. I felt so bad about not finishing. I felt like the ugly kid in the room, like everybody did their job and I didn't finish it. I really hope she lets me finish this tattoo so I can get my redemption. Hi, baby. Come on down. So how do you feel about Tattoo Baby to let her possibly finish and rework? I'm still a little nervous because, you know, it's gonna be two different tattoos coming into one. This is all about you. You know, we don't have time limitations. I'm not stressed or nervous. I'm just ready to do the, a better tattoo than I did the first time. Marie, are you ready to see Baby's design? I am. Here we go. Basically, I grabbed the same elements that you already have because we want it to look like the same tattoo. What we spoke about was the bow falling down your thigh as the sexiest like element on yeah. there, so this is it. That bow is a nice element. What do you think? I do like the bow. My concern is the white space here. That's just gonna be white space and everything, and this would be like the lace border that we talked about. Yes, I made it tinier here because we didn't want to have it like so bulky. So if you see on like one side, yeah. you see how it gets thinner? That shape, you know, gives it more of a flow instead of it being something so like thick. Redemption on the line for Tattoo Baby and some closure for you because you've had to live with what you think is a half finished tattoo for a long time. Yeah. You gonna go ahead and do this? It's a big commitment. You can also walk away. I'm gonna let her tattoo me. All right, awesome. here you go. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Ow! You're doing great. It's coming out beautiful. Oh my God. The inner thigh is so sensitive. She's twitching a little bit. Mm, my God, that hurt. Oh my God, that's like the bone or something back there or something. I'm really nervous that my canvas is going to tap out. If she walks out of here with another unfinished tattoo, I will not have my redemption. <laughs> Sorry. I know. How long has it been that you've been waiting to finish this? Since 2013. There we go. Just hold on a little bit and we make sure that this time around, you leave with your tattoo finished. Ah! So I think we might need like 20 more minutes. Oh my gosh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
I think we might be done. Here we go. Wow. You like it? I love it. That bow looks like it's floating on my skin. Isn't that hot? I can't believe it's the same tattoo. That is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so excited! You got your redemption. Yes. <laughs> Another redemption for Tattoo Baby with a beautiful tattoo. Wow. This is what I should have walked away with the first time. Yes. Representing Black Cobra Tattoo, Matt Oba and Katie McGowan. <laughs> Two veterans that made it so far in the competition. It's a bulletproof team. Matt made it to the finale once before. I made it through about 75% of the competition. Now that we're here as a team, everybody needs to watch out. Matt and Katie's are the two bottom tattoos. If Katie's right. canvas walked by me, I'd go, what no. is that? Okay. Your colors are completely different than the colors of the painting. Matt. Biggest problem for me is the face. It looks like Wilma Flintstone. You just made some really inconsistent decisions. No matter who's here this time, there's nobody that's going to stop us from getting to the finale. We want it more than anyone else could possibly want it, and we have a point to prove. Last time you competed, there was one elimination tattoo that landed you both in the bottom. I hope you work on it, man. Now you'll get another crack at it. Here it comes. There is no better test of consistency than tattooing a famous work of art. Ooh. Yeah, that's a bummer. Of course. God damn it. The last time I tattooed a famous work of art, it sent me home. Using consistency, you need to perfectly replicate your painting down to the brush stroke. Paintings have a million brush strokes, hundreds of hours worth of work put into them. And when you only have a few hours to do the tattoo, it's almost impossible to get the job done. And for this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate will both tattoo on the same canvas. What's up, Katie? Hey. How are you doing? Doing good. Good. Christian is acting like all buddy-buddy, but I don't know him well enough to know if he has an ulterior motive. Hey, just so you know, Katie's colors are looking very nice and crisp and clean. My biggest concern at this point is just making sure that we win this head-to-head. -head. So just on the direct, like, one-to-one -one comparison, mm -hmm. he's over there blocking and way too dark on that for this. Jeez Louise. If they want to do a tribal painting, they can do a tribal painting. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Today, you had to show consistency by replicating a famous work of art, Matt and Katie. This challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Black Cobra, you're up first. You tattooed Dancers at the Bar by Degas. You did a great job capturing the look of this painting. I don't think that anybody could realistically match up stroke per stroke, everything in the painting, but capturing the feel and the mood and the tone are the big things for me. Y'all really did a great job with that. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks. Alejandro, welcome back, bud. So your artist was Keto. Yes. This week, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What do you want to get? Grim Reaper with his hand extended on my forearm. My hand's going to be his hand. That takes a lot of ingenuity. Keto. The Reaper here. That was all coming out this way. He's about to come grab you. The idea is that the hand that's attached to here is coming at you. Just a straight on frontal view of the Reaper doesn't work in this challenge. Perception doesn't look like it. From the wrist to his actual arm, it just looks like flat. There's no yeah. depth, there's no detail in it. Has it affected your life? I'm a torture driver, so I'm always out, and I'm embarrassed of it. He just it up. What if I told you, Keto's in the shop now. You go talk to him. If you want to get tattooed, we can make that happen. If you don't want to get tattooed, just walk away. It's all good, you walk away. Sound good? All right, Alejandro, head in the shop, man. I thought I was going home with an awesome piece, but Keto, he dropped the ball on it. I would like an apology, but I have to get my point out. I came here to tell you what's wrong. Everything all right? It's all right. All right, let's get it going. So what is it that I can do, you know, to get your trust? Actually go and do another perception tattoo for Jesus uh, on a cross. On my hand is his hand crucified. He wants another forced perspective tattoo. I'm putting a lot of faith in you with this one. You know, I'm gonna give you all I got, man. I guarantee you, you know, you're gonna be satisfied with the outcome. All right. I got this, it ain't nothing. Alejandro, how did the console go for you? The console went pretty well. Actually, the same style of tattoo. So you want another forced yes. perspective tattoo forced, yes. on that arm? On that arm, give him a truly second chance to redeem himself. Wow, okay, yeah, that's very bold. 
All right, Keto, why don't you show Alejandro what you got for him? I'm not too thrilled with the perception of his arm. Still looks like it's just one straight arm. It's not growing. I don't want the same mistake as last time. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're worried that this doesn't have the force perspective that, like you're yeah. looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to draw the rest out on your wrist when we put it on there so it'll widen out. You want to get this tattoo? I think I want to see the stencil on, see how it comes out. So that is a tentative yes. Yes. Provided the stencil looks good to you. Correct. Appreciate All it. All right man. on, man. Appreciate it. You seeing it? Like there's a little too much arm. Huh? Like the arm is a little too long, because I think that's the problem we had last time. You said the arm just is too much of an arm. I see what you're saying. Yes, I can make it bigger. I'm gonna shorten this part right here. Shorten that part up just a little bit, yeah. All right. Right, what you think, man? This is definitely lined up good. The illusion part, I think we nailed it. Is it a go? What you thinking? Think we're gonna do this, bro. Think it's it. Yeah. I think we both know I got this, baby. See, I'm giving you a full chance of redemption here. The same location, same style tattoo. First time around, we shoot up the whole perception. Yeah, man, we, we got this, you know? First time we just covered in two, and then we're not gonna get it right, but. You feel like backing out, man? I'm hoping this time around I get what I came for originally. That's about it. All right, man, let's take a look. This time we hit the nail right on the head. It definitely flows good. The illusion's perfect. I love the detail on the face, the thorns. Definitely redeem yourself. Cool, man. That's what I was wanting. Guys, come on down. Let's see this thing. Got the flow with it, man. We just got in the zone. Got it popping. Redemption all around. Appreciate it. Good for, for you, dude. Two for two. Representing Golden Skull Tattoo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Clean Rock One and Aaron Is. Oh. oh. I met this joker on season five, and ever since, we've been broskies. We both already know what our strengths and weaknesses are because we were trying to utilize them against each other last time. He claims to be the portrait king over here. You do claim yeah. that you're the portrait yeah. guy. I'll put money on it. The precision is not there in that mouth. Those lips are not her lips. Portrait king just got decrowned. Aaron, what's it feel like to be eliminated? Because I've never been there. The veteran about to walk through the door is one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. Clean, rock, one. You kind of lose that genuine look of his smile. The shape of the mouth itself, Reagan has a bump on the bottom right side that really comes up, and you do it pretty straight. Clean gets a pass a lot of times. What's up, Christian? Hey, you know what? You guys all got something to say. At least I got the balls to say it. Third time's the charm, Clean. I got a score to settle with the old knucklehead. Clean and Aaron, as the veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in their honor, you will all be judged on precision. And I'll bet you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Just say it. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yep. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm going to be pissed. We're seeing the job, baby. We're seeing the job. A facial feature even a millimeter off could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Is that a ponytail or is that like yeah, a ribbon a, or something? Yeah, okay. no, it's a ponytail. Okay. Black Cobra definitely screwed us. They gave us the little tiny picture. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? It's so hard to blow a little tiny photo up to get a good quality portrait. It's all there, it's just grainy. I'm kind of nervous right now because Aaron got kicked out on portrait day. And you know what? I was in the bottom last time I did one, but I'm not ready to go home yet. We just got here. They totally shot our foot right now. They give us the worst picture ever. What up? Thanks for the mini pic. Over here trying to give us the bad skull, and then we, uh, what's up? Step to the stage, homie. 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't think it worked. Because I got the skills to pay the bills, yeah. man. You know what? We're just going to have to bite the bullet, and I'm about to pull out every trick I got in my bag to take this little tiny photo and make a great portrait. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, matching portraits. Clean and Aaron. This challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Golden Skull Tattoo, you're up first. Clean, did you practice before you came? Yes. I definitely want to tip my hat to you, man. You did a great portrait here. The eyes and the mouth, you hit them perfectly, especially that little turned up corner of the lip on the right side is what really captures her look. Aaron, I like the way you did the black in the hair. Your hair maybe is a little bit better than Clean's, but as far as the application on the face and everything, Clean might have made it a little more smooth. Y'all did a great job taking the exact same approach on the tattoo. I mean, you really try to mimic each other's stencil to the T. There's a lot of precision in this tattoo. Judges, time to announce who had the best tattoos of the day. I think that Golden Skull did really great. Yep, for me, I think it's Empire State. Both look like the man, both look like the same tattoo. Can't get past the top of the hair on Marvin's tattoo. I'm leaning towards Golden Skull, but I think they're both I'm bad Golden Skull. tattoos. That's your call? Final decision? Golden Skull. I'm gonna have to say Golden Skull. My decision is Golden Skull. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to uh, Golden Skull. I didn't see that coming. Now. All right. Hop up. Take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! Raymond, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was Lydia. Yes, she was. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a scorpion or a tarantula. I hate well. spiders. Sorry. Please tell me that you do not want a spider. I do. Oh, my God. I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. Are you nervous at all? Not at all, man. I was no, an Army Ranger not. for a while. I'm like, super yeah. nervous. Really? You nervous? Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. I think she was in over her head. I just reassured her the whole time. Normally, it's the other way around. The artist will try and make the canvas exactly. feel better. The tattoo originally looked fairly decent, but a day later, all the ink started to rise to the skin. From what I was told from other artists, it was just the skin was overworked, so yeah. the skin couldn't take the ink. The last thing I would want to do is provide you with a traumatic experience. And this thing, obviously, <laughs> yeah. is something that you're not happy with. You know I have Lydia here. If you guys can squash this, I'd like to offer you a rework of this tattoo, maybe get it covered with something else. That sounds good. Why don't you head in there and have a chat with her? OK. Oh, my goodness. Lydia. Is it safe to come shake your hand? Yeah, it's safe. How are you doing? I yeah. had a feeling it would be you. Why? Your tattoo was one of the first challenges we had. I was super nervous. I can um, tell. Now, have a seat. Talk to me. What's going on here? Well, that's what happened. It was overworked. It was cold, dark, and they had spiders there. I'm petrified yeah. of spiders. This is kind of putting me in a whole pattern because yeah. I can't do nothing around that. I want to get tattoos done, but I just didn't know what to do with it. Most artists, they don't like to touch other people's work, especially when it's a mess up. How are you with cover-ups? I do actually do cover-ups every day. I definitely would like to try to not see that in you. Right. Yeah. What are you thinking? Do you have any ideas? I have nothing on my body that says I was a soldier. Some of the things, you know, I thought of was like a soldier with um, half a face and then half a skeleton inside the helmet. A helmet here actually would cover that up. This show's a little less stressful, so it wouldn't be like a stressful thing for you again, right? I'm not trying to make excuses. Here in the now, in the moment, I would love to make it right. During the competition, I was pretty stressed out and anxious. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of artistic block. I don't feel that I showed what my art was all about. So I do want this redemption really bad. Lydia, come on down. What did you guys talk about in terms of a new design? A soldier um, in a helmet. Facial. Sticking in a military theme. Yeah. So Raymond, you want to take a look at the design that Lydia came up with? I do. Let's take a look. You wanted a soldier with a half skull face. I put the American flag in the back. The helmet is actually what's going to be the cover up. So the spider's going to sit in here. I'll have to put it on your arm to see how it looks and how it flows. I want to make it right. I want you to love this tattoo. 
that kind of looks like the vision that I got in my head. This is totally up to you. Do you want to get this tattoo, or do you want to get out of here? I think it's something I could wear. That's a for sure yes, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> How's that feel for you? It feels awesome. Why don't you guys get to work, and I will check in in a little while. All right, cool. No more spider. Daddy long gone. Daddy long gone. You said you were in the Army, right? Yeah, that was in a long time, because I was enlisted in the Army in 1985, So, but I was still in high school. 95 went to Bosnia when it was um, pretty hellish. So, so it's like yeah. your whole life. You're, it... Yeah, to the end of 2005. Well, I, I personally want to thank you for your service. I appreciate That's it. It's one of the reasons it meant a lot to me that you got this tattoo and that we do it right. I think that's it. Check it out. That is killer, boy. My favorite part is just the face in there. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, look at me. I've got the goosebumps just talking about it. It's awesome. I love it. Million dollar question. Did I get my redemption? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Makes me so happy. It feels great that he loves it. My experience this time around is amazing. There's less stress. I can actually be an artist. There's no time limits. I'm leaving a happy little girl. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you. Bruce, welcome back. Thank you. And you brought along Chrissy, your wife. Yes. Bruce, what brings you here? The tattoo Clint gave me. For this elimination tattoo, we want you to terrify us with a horror tattoo. Clint, because you won the flash challenge, you now have the power to assign all the human canvases. I want to get a big, badass vampire. If I can do a cool vampire girl, but maybe her hand in front of her, okay. blood, good vampire eyes, I can guarantee you right now I'm gonna kill this thing. I feel like he lost it. What happened to the back of her head? Just collapsed in. There's no ear, there's no cheek, there's no head. I think for as, as limited as the tattoo was, I did fairly no, well. No, but your challenge is texture. You gotta do the hair. You gotta make that hair look feathery and blowing. Yeah, I dropped the ball. You didn't do texture. Now he selected you as his own canvas, is that correct? That is correct. You know, when I told him a vampire and he chose it, I just assumed it was something he'd be able to accomplish. But you could see he was doing something he wasn't familiar with. What did you think of this tattoo when he came home with it? I thought her hair looked like she's got spaghetti in her hair and she has scales. Vampires don't have scales. The hand doesn't look like it's anatomically correct. And you can't tell it's really a vampire. It's not something you can cover unless you're wearing long sleeves. This is somewhere everyone's gonna see and it looks like Why are you here today? Make sure he doesn't get another tattoo like that. So you don't want to see another one of these no. things go down. <laughs> so Bruce, Chrissy, Clint is here. What he doesn't know is that you're here. Here's what's gonna happen. What I can offer you is a brand new tattoo, provided you get along, provided you want to move forward. And Chrissy is here to make sure this doesn't go south again. Yeah. Yes. You guys willing to do that? Yes. Yes. Why don't you head in the shop and see Clint? Clint left me with a really bad tattoo. He left me with a nightmare. He should have told me that this was a new style for him. I don't want to be his guinea pig, and I guess I was. Remember me? Yeah. From the horror episode? This horrible tattoo you gave me there? You should know better than to uh, pick a genre you don't know what to do. Portraits, realism. Uh, I tried to do the best that I could. I got to live with this forever. It's not a bad tattoo. No, it's, it's a bad tattoo. It's a bad tattoo. It looks like spaghetti on the hair. And what's up with the hand? If you look at the neck, it's not even like anatomically correct. We have to walk around with that. I tried to do something that you know I thought was going to help me win. And under the time restraints and the pressures of the show, I wasn't able to so do you, it. As you, choose a, you chose something you knew you couldn't do with a time restraint. Well, no, I'm not a guinea pig. I'm really sorry you're unhappy with it. You gotta give me something more than your word. All I can say is I'm sorry I disappointed you. It wasn't my intentions. This tattoo, by far, is one of the ones that I wish I could have a chance to go back and do it again, but we can make this right. I know that I can take my time and give you an awesome tattoo. You know, I'm not 100% sold, but I'm here. I'm gonna see what you have to show me. I want you to do something that you feel comfortable that you can do. Obviously, I've grown since the time that I was on the show till now. I'm really, really confident on what I can you know, do for you today. I like to stay with the uh, horror theme if I can. Horror is such a broad genre. I like the gore. The we gore, go more I towards think, the gore. I'm thinking maybe like, you know, some really cool skulls and, and things of that nature, you know, the whole gory kind of yeah, look like that. That sounds good. 
This is a very, very good opportunity to make you happy. Give me a little bit of faith here, and I'm gonna give you something that you're gonna love. After seeing this, I'm not confident. What do you think? He really has to prove himself. Because we don't want another mistake, another error for life. And it's on your arm where anyone can see it. Can't go through it again. No. I'm a little nervous to show them this design because, I mean, I've already failed them so much last time, and I got to knock this out of the ballpark if I want to have any kind of hope for redemption here. Clint, come on up. Were you able to air your grievances, both of you guys? I know you had some concerns about this. Hopefully he'll draw something this time that he's more comfortable with. And if it doesn't look right, I'm not going to let him get it. What did you ask Clint for this time? More in the horror realm, just to go with the, the sleeve. I'm not a super horror guy, more of a new school kid. But I did find a good medium. Ready to take a look at this design? I've been ready, yes. I tried to draw this so that way it can incorporate with that. It's going to have to sit kind of like this. Which way will that image be facing on me? Actually, when you're, it's going to be like this. So this is like the, the front half. That's going to actually be like right here. And then this right here, this curve right here is actually this back half. So, so when you're gonna, done, it's, it's going to be a full right here, forearm. Right. Fit the whole form. Yeah. Gotcha. Ultimately, it's up to you guys. Closure for you. Redemption for Clint. What's it going to be? You can pull that off. Yes, sir. We don't leave this place until you're absolutely happy. Guarantee it. All right, let's do it. Yeah? Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother, no for the opportunity, man. No problem. I'm going to make you happy, I promise. Good luck, guys. Get to it. All right, brother. You know how this goes. Yeah, man. Were you worried that Bruce and I were going to say no about the design? Yeah, actually, I was very nervous. It's very important to me that everybody that I tattoo is happy with what I do, and I'm um, thankful that you guys are giving me this chance to redeem myself. I'm just worried, because with the last tattoo, he's covered his arm from other people, so they wouldn't see it. It sucks. It sucks knowing that I let you guys down like that, and you guys had to pay the price for that. I'm going to make damn good and sure that doesn't happen again. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me, so I'm not going to fail you. There's no way. Hopefully you'll uh, be a man of your word and make this the best tattoo ever. We're good. You want to take a look? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's the Clint I know. There you go. That's, That's what cool. I like to hear. His eyes are really, really amazing. Bruce, Chrissy, Clint, let's bring it down. Wow. It's in there nice, too, man. It really does scream from across the room. Are you happy with the tattoo? I mean, in fact, it doesn't matter what you think. Chrissy. Yes, <laughs> I'm very happy with the yeah. tattoo. He definitely did an amazing job on Bruce's arm. What do you think? I love it. A redemption for this guy? <laughs> you got my redemption. There you go. There you go. That's what I love Congratulations, man. Thank brother. No problem. Nice, man. Thank for you. Real. I couldn't be happier because I finally got to do something that I'm proud to say that I did. He loves it. Chrissy loves it. It was a win for Team Clint today. All right, guys. Congratulations, thank, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can't wait to go out and show this one off. This is an example of when Clint does his own thing and he does his style. He knocks it out of the park, man. That thing is badass. The guy's super stoked. I'm happy for Clint. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What does your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he you know, does. Exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. 
to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know like how open he is to hearing like that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I don't ever try to give anybody mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more on there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man, I gotta show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm like torn because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover up of a cover up. Okay, if there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to come. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers, I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous though. No, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you, and you nervous? How do you feel I am, about I'm this? I'm still a little nervous, because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say, it can only go up from here, yeah. but I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready. All right, buddy, let's take a look at this. This the rough colors. I didn't sit down and sharpie paint everything in, but. Wow. Tell me how this is gonna cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green's gonna be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. But a lot of your work that I've seen can be like, not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. You ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All right, yeah. good luck, Thank Steph. You. Thank you. Congratulations, good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's going to cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong, so let's see what happens. Holy What it fits perfectly? I think perfectly. I got a winner. Well, don't like make it fit. Like no, make sure it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't want to have to do it three times. It really is beautiful, but like I'm also second guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah, I know. I mean, I'm going to look at it. Of course. Okay. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. Okay. So, okay, so wait. This here, this is just gonna be the shape of the shading? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Trust me. Very nice, okay. 
We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now, all right. Hop up. Take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm like I'm so excited. Hold on. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even. Let's talk about some cover-ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. Yeah. Wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. No. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, you well home. done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a congratulations. lot. Congratulations. Welcome, Lynn, and welcome, Ricky. Thank, Thank you. you. It's kind of defeated as soon as I, I turned over the skull. You must redesign a famous landmark as a new school tattoo. New school Statue of Liberty with Twin Tower uh, light beams in the background. It's up Tito. Are you going to do those raisin blue or not? I was talking with my guys, and they say they look better straight, so I don't want to like color in. You don't think it will look better colored in? No. The mouth is completely jacked. Seven points on a crown, you have six. I'm a patriotic person. Yep. I mean, it's embarrassing to look at. My statue has six points. The Statue of Liberty has seven for the seven Cs. There's no torch. The torch is a symbol of freedom. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. So everything that this is supposed to symbolize, it doesn't. What do you do for a living? I'm a police officer. Well, he's also 23 years military. And wow. he was a first responder for 9-11. So this is clearly an emblem that means the world to you. He wanted the blue lights to symbolize the Twin Towers. And I asked him, I said, are you going to color in those lights blue? You know, and he said, no, nah, the other artist said it looks better like that. Vital elements that you wanted in these tattoos, and they were just kind of tacked in. It wasn't important to him, so. All right, well, Tito's here in the shop. He doesn't know that you're here. Do you want to go have a chat? Oh, absolutely. Head on Thanks. into the shop. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I am aggravated with Tito. It's just a disrespectful tattoo to me. That's what you do. You're on Ink Master. Oh. You're crazy. Next time, you come with a better idea. What about my idea? That's simple. A Statue of Liberty. You agree when I did it. What about the lines? I told you. I said, hey, I was one of the people who went to the World Trade Center. Remember I said that? And you were like, oh, yeah, I'm from North Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Do you that. see the Twin Towers? Is that respectful? We don't, have time. We, we don't have time for it. Yeah. Remember the torch? Yeah. You said, yeah, we'll have the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to do it. The torch. You yeah. couldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. You're not a good artist. You didn't want to do it. 23 years in the military, and he walks around with a floating head with a duck face and the wrong amount of points. You don't think that's embarrassing? Look at it. Hey, man, you signed for you this. You have nothing to say because you signed for this. I signed for a good tattoo. It is a good I'm tattoo. going to Ink Master. It's it the tattoo. best in the country. Obviously, the one of the worst. Guys, I don't suck a scenario. I can prove you Barely right you now. Do. Glenn, Tito, come on over here. What's going on? I got a disrespectful tattoo on my leg. Is there anything that can be done here that can make you guys happy and get Tito some redemption? Would you guys be down with consulting to see what the guy can offer you, provided we can move through the hostility? You screwed up two tattoos. Now I'm going to say, hey, you can tattoo me again. It was under pressure, and it was new school, something that I don't do. I came here for you guys. It's just about making you guys happy. Talk with Tough Tito. Come up with a concept. You draw it up. If you look at the design and you're into it, let's do it. If you're not into it, you're out of here. I don't think it's going to hurt you guys to at least see what the gentleman can do. Let's do it, I guess. Thanks. Len, good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right, guys, head in the shop. I'm really on the fence about Len giving Tito a second chance. Even if we like this design, we have to trust Tito to execute it. And in the past, he didn't follow through. Honestly, I wouldn't cover that up because I just don't want you to walk with that. It's bad. You let me do something Japanese in your back, coming almost like a sleep, but like a nice big Japanese koi. I can cover it in a heartbeat. You're not even going to see nothing. What if it's not koi? I mean, uh, to cover that up, I need repetitive layers, like the scale. So as far as covering that up, a koi fish is pretty much my only option. Something with the dragon head, koi dragon. A koi dragon? What is that? You have the shape of the koi, and uh, we put a dragon. It's like, it's changing. It's not you, and I don't think you'll like it in the end. 
Could you draw up like a cover up and draw up something totally different? Let's throw something new then. So doing something new, you could do biomechanical? Okay. I ride Harley, so something to that effect with mostly all black, but have like blue highlights in it. I'll draw both. I'll show you a sketch. So take a seat. So what are you thinking? If I'm going to do the cover up, the style is one of the big hang ups for me. Do you think you can sit there and let him do something on you again? Shame on us if we do it a third time. We don't have to leave it anything either. True. I don't want him to walk on the street with that Statue of Liberty on my name. If he let me do the cover-up, I'm 100% getting my redemption. Hi, guys. Tito. So how did the consultation go? A couple different options, I guess, we talked about. Uh, maybe a cover-up, and then the other one is different. something completely different like biomechanical. Let's talk about uh, the cover-up. Now, for me to look at this piece, that would take some doing to cover it up. What are your ideas there? Use some greens in order to use the greens of the other Statue of Liberty and blacks and nice flow in the leg, swimming up. Thought more of like a dragon head. That's pretty much a dragon head. Maybe a longer neck. OK. The fish stands out. It's hard to see the dragon. These things are, are weird because they're morphing. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the next design. Got some piston, we got some gears. More like inside of the motor of the Harley. So just remember, he can cover it, or the biomech, or you guys can go home. It's completely up to you. You guys want to take a few minutes and talk among yourselves? Thanks. Sure. What do you think? I don't know. What about biomechanical? I couldn't really see what it was. So you don't want that at all? I don't think so. I think the cover-up is the only option at this point. But I think he's got to be willing to change some. So what did you guys talk about? At this point, I think my only option really to me would be the cover-up. What about adding other fish into it? Uh, what do you mean adding other one? Like two? What about three? <sighs> if I may chime in, when it comes to Japanese-style tattooing, there are very Specifics. specific fundamental rules. I've seen some stuff where it was just a koi family, just so it has some symbolism to me. One koi dragon and then two koi fish. Yes. So I will freehand on you. That sounds like multiple sessions. No. Really? Yeah. Don't worry about it. What do you think? You doing it? Yeah. Go. Got it. Let's see. Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely like the uh, blue dragon. You know, a darker body, but a blue head. It's awesome. You put it all in there. And all the bad stuff's gone. I appreciate you trust me again to give you a nice work, you know what I mean? And it's something that I love to do. I definitely didn't make a mistake having Tough Tito tattoo me the second time. He did everything that I asked him to do and better. I'm good with wearing this tattoo the rest of my life. Thanks, Thanks. man. Thank you. My Appreciate pleasure. It. My pleasure. Thanks. All right, Len, come on down, Tito. Can I take a look? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's crazy, dude. You can't see the statue anymore. That's the biggest part for me. Knocked it out of the park. You look really happy. I'm so happy. I love it. Are you being moved to tears a little I bit? Am. How does it feel to see that, bro? Um, I feel awesome. It's awesome that they let me work out again with them. So I got to ask both of you guys, is that redemption for Tito? Definitely redemption. Absolutely. Man, I'm so happy for Thank you. you. Appreciate it. And Thank I will say, pleasure. dude, this is the greatest Appreciate thing you've done here. Yes, I mean, I had the opportunity. I'm going to take it. I'm really happy for you guys. Thank you. Right on, dude. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate it. I've already done this two other times and failed. This is the last shot I've got. I have to make sure that my tattoo speaks louder than anyone's. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's so sick, dude. I want to do something that Ink Master has never seen before, and that is a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. I'm in. Let's do it. So you bad at that new school, huh? Anything with a lot of color in it. 
I've definitely not settled on just being a great new school tattoo artist, but I've picked up a lot of other tricks along the way. You have six hours to give your canvas a hot pinup with sexy proportion. And your time begins now. Having a darker canvas does not give you the ability to do bright colors. I'm a color specialist, so I hope to just kind of pass by on this one. The canvas, sometimes they ask for things that you really don't want to do. Craig's weakness is gray wash, and if you can't do gray wash, you shouldn't be able to be an ink master. Craig. Overall, you did a detailed tattoo, and the proportion looks right, but as a whole, it's just something unappealing about it. And you got a lot smoother on some of your lighter shading than we've seen before, but some of your darker shading is rough. When you take a black and gray look, but you go at it in a color approach, meaning you're coloring in such massive areas of the whole figure and not letting it breathe, it just gives it a weird look. I'm toning down my coverage from the day to day. You're getting better, but this whole approach to making it so solid and so colored, it's just going to work against you. You need to get black and gray in your bag of tricks. Craig, man, I look at your tattoo and it's just not appealing. And then once I get into the technical part of it, there's a lot of flaws. The judges have decided. Craig, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Craig, the issue is if you can't do black and gray, you can't be Ink Master. It's your Achilles heel. Please pack your machines and close shop. I'm pissed off. It just doesn't make any sense. You just told a really talented artist that sucks when Josh's artistic skill is just non-existent. It's just a bunch of bull One of the most controversial eliminations in Ink Master history occurred during season three. And that artist is back to try to claim the title, and he brought his master to compete against. Craig Foster and Miami Burgess. First time I came into this competition, I played a very fair, friendly game. I left that at home. I pretty much specialize in color, new school realism. This is my house. I'm gonna be here all the way to the end. Greg came to me and said, hey man, I'd like to get an apprenticeship. I taught him everything he knows. I love to do black and gray. Every tattoo I do, I want that wow factor. Craig and I, we can be friends on the outside, but here it's to prove who's the best. I think we're doing a cool skull. What style are we gonna do it in? A new school black and gray. I'm back to prove anyone that has any doubts about my black and gray totally wrong. My skull versus your skull. Black and gray. Miami and Craig, let's start with you. New school black and gray. Let's talk about tattoo number one. Looking at this tattoo overall, there's a lot of heavy, clean lines and a lot of smooth gray shading. I like the way that whoever did this was able to pull off some different sized lines. Overall, aesthetically, it's cool. It's strong. It's bold. Let's move on to tattoo number two. This tattoo is very big, very striking. But once you get into it and look real close, it's pretty rough. The black shading that comes off the back of the skull underneath the hair, it's just like that back of the arm just didn't get paid attention to. Well, taking into consideration overall ability, let's debate a win here. Based on everything from line work to shading to solid black, I'd have to go with number one. I'd have to go with number one as well. Unanimous, number one. Who did number one? I did. Craig. You went home on a black and gray tattoo. Yes, I did. And here you've come back, first tattoo out the gate, black and gray, beat the master. To prove you deserve a spot in the live finale, you must turn your failure into success. Your canvases have been randomly assigned, and you'll have six hours to tattoo. Head to your shops, and we'll bring in your canvases. Good luck. Let's do it, man. Uh, come here, right here. Working so hard for this long, fourth place is going to be a bitter, bitter, bitter taste. Hearing the critiques and knowing exactly why you messed something up is a great chance to learn and build. If you come back and you redeem yourself and you're strong in this challenge, you'll make it to the finale. You say your competition's tough or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally, man. But I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could beat tough competition. We're looking for perfection. I don't want to see somebody up twice. The other person that I did one on didn't really want a side, and she wanted an anchor. Last time I did this tattoo, I was not in my element, wasn't thinking right. It was just a rough day, you know? I feel like I just cannot get a win with color. So black and gray seems like the best option. The black and gray is definitely going to let us get a lot more done. This will be the most important tattoo I do. Got to make this one count. Craig, if you don't go to the finale, I'll be more heartbroken than you are. 
Craig. One of the biggest problems with your previous Neptune was definitely design elements not flowing together. You definitely made a better design choice this time. Overall, man, you got a lot of nice fine details in the cracks, making this thing really look like a statue. But then when it comes to the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, the detail is gone. I almost wish that you would have just done a simpler face and had some cracks running across it and just give it that statuesque look instead of losing me with the messy face. Everything in the composition of the actual statue itself is great. It's just very tonal and very dark. You did an amazing drawing, and then you really went in and just muddied it up. Craig. Your drawing is a beautiful drawing. The hand holding the lightning is great, but that arm just literally blends right back into that pillar. You're just so tonal in so many places in this. I was trying to keep the whole statue way lighter than the stones behind it. You gotta pick a place that the light comes from, and you gotta commit to those motions. Those are the concepts that you really gotta hold on to, and that will change this look. Both you guys show strengths and weaknesses in your tattoos. You guys are men, you're not machines, but in this competition, the strongest horse wins the race. One of you is headed to the live finale, and one of you is about to close shop right now. The judges have decided. Chris, you are headed to the live finale. Congratulations. Damn. Thank you, guys. Craig, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's been a good trip. The last time that I was here, leaving was more confusing. This time, I understand it. I respect the out of you for coming back and doing it again. And you know you're welcome back in this room anytime you want to come in. Please pack your machines and close shop. Cheers, you guys. I showed up, never gave up. I wanted to see what I could do because I really felt like I did not finish the last time I came, and now I feel like I finished. Didn't work out perfectly, but at the end, I'm satisfied. Teaching Kyle how to tattoo and then me not making it on a team when he does, that's just an embarrassment. This subject matter is something I'm really comfortable in, and I'm gonna do everything I can and fight to get on one of those teams. If this guy wins, you think he's coming straight over to you? Does he want to be one of the brothers, or, or does he want to go flop on your team? We'll see about that. Matt and Jimmy, you're up next. Jimmy, you called colored American traditional girl head. I really like this drawing. I really like the simple, bold approach, and I love the color palette. Overall, man, it's a pretty bulletproof tattoo. Thank you. Let's take a look at Matt's tattoo. Very recognizable image. You got a lot of really clean lines. It just has a little bit more of a newer look than a real standard traditional tattoo. It's a tough day in here, man. You guys both deserve to be in this room, and whoever doesn't make it should definitely fight their way back in. Both of them are so great. Both of these tattoos have great qualities to them. Going by what the call was on an American traditional tattoo, I think Jimmy edges this one out. My vote's for Jimmy. The winner of the face-off is Jimmy. Jimmy. You have six hours to tattoo a mermaid proving your artistry. And your time starts now. All right, let's do this, girl. Let's go, guys. We gotta keep it straight. When we put it on, don't hyperextend. This week, the elimination tattoo is gonna be mermaid. Right there. Uh, it looks like it needs to go more. Hopefully, these guys have their understanding of anatomy. Is that good? Yes. Still in a good spot? Yeah. Hopefully, people understand what the bottom of a fish looks like. Hopefully, they can put them together. How's my skin? Um, I'm an old <laughs> Yeah. It's just you have to be really careful with it so it doesn't split, because it's like really thin. My canvas originally wanted a color realistic mermaid on his ribs. I finally got him to agree to a black and gray semi-realistic mermaid on his leg. I'm just gonna go grab another needle. But my canvas is still a complete grenade. Got a canvas today. Thanks, Tiffer. Of all people, I'm like, why would he give that to you? It sucks to see my brother struggle. I just can't, like, I can't pack it solid. My whole life, I've kind of been in Jimmy's shadow. We haven't really had the best relationship growing up. It's crazy, we finally hit that point where we're on the same page and we understand each other and we respect each other. And now, one of us could be going home. Looks good, man. Thanks, dude. Right now, it's all about survival. I just need to put everything that I have into this tattoo and make it work. If he goes home, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get through this. Jimmy. 
Your silhouette on this is just not flattering. She's not curvy in the right place. The width of the hips to the width of the tail and how drastically it just becomes that little thin noodle in the back and then how huge the fin is. She's got a massive neck, a huge block jaw. Everything on here is just kind of a fight within itself. Everybody today struggled, but this one chose a lot. Okay, judges, time to determine who's going home. Amanda's tattoo, he's missing limbs. I can't back the anatomical issues. Are you voting Amanda home? Yeah, I'm voting Amanda Holy home. When I look at all three tattoos, Jimmy's is the least appealing. My vote's for Jimmy. My vote's for Jimmy. The judges have decided, Jimmy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I 100% believe you are a better tattooer than people that are sitting upstairs. I just want to thank you because I've learned a lot from all your critiques this entire competition. I think you killed it, man. You took a swing and I think you at least hit it. I think you did great, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. A few years ago, I had my foot in the grave, and I never thought I'd be able to fight to get myself into this competition. I'm pretty proud and happy with how far I did get, and I think uh, you know, I got my money on Kyle. Today, you must each tattoo whatever state it is that you call home. Uh, this is gonna be rough. I hate state tattoos. You'll have six hours, and you can tattoo in any style. Get ready. Your canvases are completely open and have been randomly assigned. There is one more thing you should know. Yeah, always something. No matter where you came from, your tattoos must speak for themselves because these tattoos will be judged blind. Oh, boy. Man. It's great that it's blind critiques. I mean, there are four returning artists, and this way it shows the rest of the room that there's no playing favorites. It shows you how brutally honest that this competition can be. Hey, I know you're busy really quick. This isn't my first time in this competition. What if you do the state inside the big crab shell? So there's a shit ton of pressure on me. The judges are gonna expect a lot from me. They know what my work looks like. They know what I'm capable of. Last time I had to fight to get on a team. This is not the time for a repeat. I'm gonna drop like some background. Dude, they hate backgrounds. My team's also relying on me too. Tell me what I should do different. I'm being pulled in all sorts of directions. Tilted. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo your state, and your time starts now. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's get it. Hell yeah. yeah. Bam. Oh, man, the screams of doom. Time for the blind critiques. These guys had to tattoo their states. Let's bring up the first tattoo. Oh, there we go. Is there a shape of a state in there? It's Massachusetts. Oh, Mass. I do see it now. Design-wise, a little weird. But the black that's in the sails, it's solid. It whips out. It's all consistent. Best done black that we've seen today for black. That tattoo kind of makes me a little nervous about traditional day. We'll see if we get one. You have 13 hours to show us quality and quantity in this tattoo marathon. And your time starts now. Right. Ready to party? Ready, ready. First one out of the gate, a lot of perfect circles right on her ribs. I'm just gonna go for it. This is my time to shine and show off and take that difficult placement regardless of what happens. Can I run to the bathroom like super quick? Um, I'm, we're almost done. Okay, we're done. Yeah, there's like, like five, ten minutes left. Yeah, don't worry about it. Is that okay? That. Yep, no problem. There's no time for breaks. I'm sorry, honey, but you gotta sit still. We need to get this shit done. We need to get you out of here so I can get the next one rolling. 12 hours left, people, 12 hours. My eyes sting from holding them open so long, staring. I can't even see right now. Every time I open my eyes to try to pull this line work, they just tear up and start to sting. All right, Jimmy, let's get your eyes cleaned up. Do I have to recover from it? Nope. Hit me. All the way back. Blink, 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 blink. Forward. Done. One hour left. Final hour. Where do you want this thing? Uh, where I want it. What about uh, your, your leg? Sure. I did not come all this way just to quit now and relax. I'm just doing what I know how to do best. Thank you. Have a good I appreciate day. it. Thanks. Jimmy. That was quick as <laughs> What one was that? The uh, tombstone? Look this shit quick as hell. 20 minutes left. Jimmy, you got 20 minutes, man. What's up, man? How's it going? Is he really going to try that shit? 
Okay. I got time for that tombstone. All right, let's do it. Is he <laughs> insane? Where the f is it? Come on. Jimmy, you're insane. 18 minutes. Earning a spot in that finale, for me, it's proving to myself that I have completely transformed from the person I was into the person that I can be. If I can win the title of Ink Master, I can do anything. Come on, mother Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, Machines Down. Time is up. This tattoo marathon is over. 15-minute tattoo, bro. That looks real good for 15 minutes. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Jimmy, your flash designs were tattooed 16 times, one less than Angel. I like the style of these tattoos. Simple, clean, legible, easy to tattoo. In 13 hours, you completed 13 tattoos. What I like about the tattoos is the fact that they all have weight. Your skull's head with the steps, the way that you shade it, the consistency, the black, has a very heavy, strong weight. But you have a little bit of some wobbles towards the top of the outline. There are a few tattoos in your bunch where your outline gets a little away from you. Your first tattoo, the moon, you get a little bit of wobbles in your outline. I know it's in a difficult area. It was on the ribs, I mean. Your last tattoo of the day, I love the way this one shaded. Quick, big whip. Did that in 15 minutes. Even though you're in a rush, it's still solid, it's still clean, you still keep the consistency. Overall, your body of work, you put your stamp and your style on the tattoos, whether they are your design or not. The consistency plays strong in your favor. Thank you. When I look at these pieces of art on the skin, the tattooer that looks like they attacked these things and had the most consistent approach is Jimmy, and that is my vote. Because he colored in the lines, and because it is clean, I'm going with Jarrell. I agree, Jarrell has super clean outlines, but those birds of Jarrell are super rough, and then he has a tombstone with that gray all crammed in there. When I compare a couple things back and forth, the few little hiccups that Jimmy has still looks like big, solid tattoos. My vote is for Jimmy. The judges have decided. Jimmy, you have earned the last spot in the finale. I put a lot um, on the line, so is Jarrell. We both put in a lot of shit throughout our entire lives just to get to this moment. I'm happy, thank you. Congratulations, brother. Oh, you're rolling too. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Katie and I are working as a team. We constantly try to help each other out. That's what we're used to doing day to day. My specialty would be bold, traditional inspired tattoos. It's not a matter of beating my master. It's a matter of winning the competition. A female tattooer needs to own this and win it, and I'm that one. It is out of control how awesome your tattoo is. <laughs> Matt and Katie, neo-traditional bird and flower. Let's start with tattoo number one. The black's really strong. The outline looks great. The color palette really works for this design. Let's look at tattoo number two. I like the overall layout, big, tough claws. It's a big tattoo. If it wasn't this big, it could have got a little more detailed out, and the owl itself could have been stronger. Let's debate a win here. How strong and vivid number one looks, I'm going with number one. I'm going to go with number one as well. Number one? Who did tattoo number one? I did. Well done. OK, artists, you have six hours to create a famous work of art. And your time begins now. I'll get this last chunk down here done. Water Lilies by Monet is by far the most difficult because there's so much layering happening in the painting. Duffy and I are choosing to go about this painting two different ways. She's using a zoomed in section to tattoo and I'm using a little bit more of the painting. I want to make sure that the painting is identifiable. You see Duffy's? I saw it once and it was earlier on. How's she doing? It looks amazing. Katie, you went head to head with Duffy. I'm familiar with this painting and I'm not entirely sure if I would know what this is if I was standing next to her. Felt like it was very difficult to translate into a tattoo. Your colors are completely different than the colors in the painting. In the painting, there's some really bright, vivid areas of green with a really high contrast. You made those areas really forest hunter green, so it changes the painting itself. You've got one of the harder paintings to reproduce and one of the hardest parts of the body. Definitely shows there's a struggle here. 
It's a rough one. All right, guys, we have to decide who's going to go home here. Matt and Katie's are the two bottom tattoos. Yeah, I would agree. If I look at both tattoos from five feet away, I know what Matt's is. I know that it is Venus. Katie, I don't think that a lot of people are going to know what that is. Carter, I have to go with Matt. It's a very linear painting that actually could be beautifully translated. I just didn't find it there. So just purely on that, I would have to say he executed the worst tattoo of the day. This is the toughest decision today. I have to go with Katie. It's very difficult to identify this as being a famous painting. Gotta go with Katie. The judges have decided. Katie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Bye, y'all. Win it. This is total bull****. I'm going home today because I was given the most difficult subject matter on the most difficult part of the body. It's not fair. You're halfway through this competition, but the toughest challenges are yet to come. Only one shop will earn $200,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Hell yeah. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. <laughs> Now, standing in your way are the next returning veterans. They both competed in season six, representing Black Cobra Tattoo, Matt Oba, and Katie McGowan. Two veterans that made it so far in the competition. It's a bulletproof team. Matt made it to the finale once before. I made it through about 75% of the competition. Now that we're here as a team, everybody needs to watch out. No matter who's here this time, there's nobody that's going to stop us from getting to the finale. We want it more than anyone else could possibly want it, and we have a point to prove. Matt, Katie, good to see you guys. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you. So how are you guys planning on working as a team? The things that I don't do well at, he excels in and vice versa, so we're just a really good match. Well, this week is designed to put your shop to the ultimate test. Please join the other artists. These guys have a long history of working together. They're master and apprentice. They're going to be a huge threat to everybody. This week, we're testing consistency. For this flash challenge, your canvases all have loved ones with a condition that has permanently changed their appearance. Oh. Now, sometimes this can bring unwanted attention and embarrassment that they live with every day. To show their support and solidarity, your canvases want an exact replica of their loved one's condition, permanently tattooed on their skin. Not easy. No. It's going so fast down there. Yeah. This is our first day back. We really want to come in and show that we have what it takes. So I want Katie to do the lines on this piece, and I'm going to follow up and come in and do the shading. Katie, I want to walk about for a minute. I'm not here to make enemies by any means, but I'm definitely sizing all of the artists up. I meant you at your finale. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. I appreciate it. You've been there. Yeah. It's tough. Next up is Black Cobra Tattoo. Katie's consistent, solid black outline. That's definitely you back in the house. Really smooth application mat and the shading. Overall, I like a little drop shadow and the softness. You have very dark and bold and solid. Looks like a perfect sticker. Well done. You got robbed on season six. And I feel so, like you went home way too early. I totally agree. So we have a lot to prove. So we wanted to do Birds of Prey. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. For the color one, we chose a falcon. The torch is representative of, like, taking the wind, bringing it home. We really designed these to where you cannot tell who did what, and that's really telling of how collaborative we are as a team. Dude, yeah. that is sick. And they're going to look great together. I'm ready to bring the title of Master Shop home. I'm ready to put that check in the bank. Uh, other two shops have a lot of talent. I wouldn't expect either one of them to drop the ball. But I hope they do a little. Yeah. I feel like these two back pieces are the best tattoos of my career. These tattoos are worth $100,000 each. It's time to reveal your 35-hour color back piece. That is a total of 76 hours of tattooing to secure the title of Master Shop. Good. And go ahead, reveal, please. Well, guys, looking at the tattooing, it is flawless again. Both back pieces match. 
The anatomy issue here is the bottom wing. From the connection of the breast where the wing connects on the top wing, if you turn that over and look at the other side of that bird, the connections don't balance out. If you put an arch in that wing and then drop it, it would look a lot more dynamic and not as questionable. Really great job, guys. Love the tattoo. Technically, it's, it's as solid as it can be, and it looks like one tattooer did it, which is just kind of just unbelievable. Based on all 76 hours of tattooing, which of these shops gets the win? Honestly, man, Old Town has really put out two big, tough tattoos. Judges have decided unanimously. Old Town Inc. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us. Perfect. Make sure all my babies still work. Perfect. I'm known for my new school tattooing, but I'll knock anything out of the park. Portraits, black and gray, I'll do it all. Tim has a grudge against me. He used to work at my shop, terrible with clients, and I just had to fire him. Dude, that was four years ago, and that yes, was- Yes, it was, but my issue with you over that whole thing, honestly, was not taking me aside and having a conversation with me like a straight up man instead of putting me on blast. I wanted to suck you in the <laughs> jaw that day. I really did. God. I helped him build his shop in Vegas and then he tried to basically punk me in front of a bunch of people. And now it's my turn to pay him back. It will be a bloodbath and I'm gonna end up mopping the floor with his ass. I specialize in surrealism tattoos mixed with full realism and portrait style detail. It's about to be on like Donkey Kong, man. Today, you had to work with your rival on the same tattoo. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Tim and clean. First of all, you're yourself going this big. To do this big a tattoo is stupid. Well, I know I could have handled it. I drew it. We both did a couple of designs, but I didn't. But yours was terrible. It wasn't terrible. Come out of your wet dream, let me know when you're back. I probably could have done the whole tattoo in half the time that both of us did the tattoo. Tie the background into the foreground if you're gonna do this much background so it doesn't look like an afterthought. Right now, you have a big afterthought. Clean, clean, come on down, man. Let's take a look. I was doing photorealism, and um, you know, my guy's a mechanic, and you know, I'm a gearhead, and uh, we just decided to do some hot rod stuff and a uh, super badass skull. Cool, man. Thanks, Clean. I think that Clean's work really is very consistent though. It's a repeat of what he's done from the first episode all the way to the finale. And I feel like as a judge on this show, I have to compliment craftsmanship. And I feel like Clean is that. I need a final decision. I'm picking Jason. <laughs> Chris, final decision. My final decision is clear, clean. Can't hear you. Clean, I'm going with you because consistently throughout the season, you did great. You were a solid tattooer and you represented the community with dignity and pride. And I appreciate that. Wow. $100,000 on the line and a split decision. And I hate this. Let me collect my thoughts. Let me collect my thoughts. Let me collect my thoughts, guys. Now here's the deal. I do think that Clean outperformed everybody here throughout the season. And if I had to choose one of these two tattoos to wear, I'd wear Clean's. But Jason hit the challenge. Hold on. I'm thinking. 
Jason hit the challenge. I got <laughs> um, You know, and I gotta think that, you know, if you look at the Super Bowl, and this is our Super Bowl, it doesn't matter how the teams performed, it matters what happens in the final game. God, this is, this is. It's always tough. This is hard, man. It's always tough. It's a tough decision. Jason, you do have what it takes to win. To make it to the end, you must defeat some of the strongest artists this competition has ever seen. And they are back for revenge. I'm gonna welcome this veteran artist with open arms. Veterans are gonna take over and there's nothing these new guys can do about it. The veteran about to walk through the door specializes in new school, but he's one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. And that took him all the way to the finale. Suspense is killing me. Clean Rock One. Oh, no. You killed it on the details. This is a really sharp, vibrant, dynamic tattoo, man. That's what wins this competition. I'm out for blood today. Clean Rock won fast, he saturates, and he should have won the competition. I am here to get my revenge. I lost to Jason Clay Dunn. There is no way in hell that I'm coming in second place again. I am here to take back my rightful throne. Welcome back, Clean. As a veteran, you fought through this competition once. You now have the power to choose the next elimination tattoo. This week, you're calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? We're gonna do hot rods and choppers, neo-traditional style. Not my strong point. Probably half the guys here don't know about hot rods and choppers. I'm a gearhead. I'm gonna kill this tattoo, and there ain't nobody gonna get in my way. I'm gonna get all this gray done. I'm gonna kill this tattoo. How you yeah. doing, man? So that's just the V engine of your bike? Time-wise, you know, I figured let's just make the motor nice and beefy. Yeah, mirror start that engine, you know what I mean? As a veteran artist, my strategy is to do good, solid, clean tattoos. I've been preparing for this since season five. Three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, come on over. That is badass. I'll tell you right now, if I don't win this one by looking at these other chumps' tattoos, this rig. Clean, let's start with you. When you said neo-traditional, this was the palette that I expected to see from the field. I like the flames, the engine is very identifiable, and I like what you did with this background. I think that's the best part. Red, wine, blue, baby. America. That's not American, Clean. It's America. That's a Puerto Rican flag. He gave him a Puerto Rican flag. I see the discrepancies with the flag. Putting more stars in the blue area instead of one big white star would have helped you out. But no one can argue with this line work. Nobody can argue with your saturation. The details of this motor are right. It's a very slick tattoo. This season, we had the toughest artists, past and present, fighting for the title of Ink Master. But these three held strong. Let's bring out your finalists. Kristen Buckingham. Anthony Michaels. Clean Rock One. Whoa! Wow, mixed reviews. Back again for the second time. Clean Rock One, come on up, dude. The judges assigned you black and gray. Fine line. Oh. Let's hear about that. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, basically you guys assigned me black and gray, and uh, that's not my forte. So I uh, pretty much just looked at the guys that I 
you know, admire and I try to do something as uh, close to that as possible. All right, man. Thanks, fellas. Hey, you're the only veteran to make it to the finale, and this is your second time on this stage. You feeling the pressure? Well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm super confident and I'm comfortable, and you know, this is basically, uh, you know, this is it. You know, yeah. it's do or die. Yeah, it is, man. Judges debut, fine line, black and gray. Ollie. I mean, I love this tattoo, man. It's beautiful, it fits really nice, but the imagery that you selected is so powerful. It fit what you were challenged and what you were asked to do. The detail that you got in the Sacred Heart is really beautiful, man. Congratulations, that's a great tattoo. Yeah. Clean, come have a seat, man. I gotta say, both tattoos are killer. All four of them are killer. Anthony, you didn't finish the chest, and you didn't sleeve out the sleeve. And those are technicalities, and we critiqued Clean on those very technicalities because he didn't do photorealism for his final piece. I gotta go with Clean Rock One. I gotta do it, man. What Anthony did in his sleeve, I think, is not something that not a lot of people could do. I gotta go for Anthony. The judges have decided. Anthony, you do I've already done this two other times and failed. This is the last shot I've got. I have to make sure that my tattoo speaks louder than anyone's. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's so sick, dude. I want to do something that Ink Master has never seen before, and that is a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. I'm in. Let's do it. Man, those guys gave it their all. All right, Kristen, clean. You guys went head to head the entire competition. You coached teams, you sabotaged each other, but tonight, the grudge match is coming to an end, and one of you is going to leave here with $100,000. Right here, baby. It all comes down to your 35-hour master canvases, and the time has come to put up or shut up. All right, clean. Step up and let's bring out your master canvas, buddy. Take a look. Wow. I'm always kind of known for going big and bold, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something that was the biggest tattoo that Ink Master's ever seen. I wanted to do something that well, you could see from across the street, and I wanted to show that you can do a tattoo, one shot, one kill, just tattooing. Well done, man. Clean. Great job, man. Thank you. I need a final decision from you. My vote's for Christian. Man, I love both these tattoos, too. Just if I'm looking at weight of tattoos, I gotta go with Clean Rock One. It's all on you, my friend. Man, I'm so torn. For me, it's always been the same thing, and it's been the tattoo that looks heavy. And it's just the application and what I think, for me, really holds. And as tough as this is, I'm gonna go clean.
Welcome, artists. The shops entering the competition will have at least one returning artist who's competed for the title and failed. Oh, dude. What? These people coming back in have already been here. They already know the pressure, and that's really intimidating. I feel like I have to prove that there are great female tattoo artists. I think a lot of female tattoo artists to this day are still misinterpreted. I just want to prove to everybody we deserve a lot of respect. Tattoo baby. There's a lot of good shading and dimension and a lot of good color. I wanted to concentrate more on being able to pack in the color than go so big and not be able to accomplish anything. Artists, this is it. This tattoo will ultimately determine which three of you will be headed to the live finale and who's headed home. Remember, you're gonna be judged on all of the essential skills. You have six hours to tattoo and your time starts now. There is so much pressure. These judges have just such high standards. I feel like I'm overthinking this dragon a lot. I have become a fan of Tattoo Baby's drive. I love the fact that she's trying to show that she can do whatever it is that we're looking for, but what a poor selection for her to end up with today. This is not looking strong. Tattoo Baby, how'd you feel about this? Well, when I first found out that I got the guy with the dragon, I knew that if I do this wrong, I'm gonna get my ass chewed and it could take me home. This was a big dice roll because to me, you did it in the spirit of competition. Like, I'm gonna show these guys that I can do this thing and I admire that. However, today is a tough day to gamble. You're missing a lot of key elements. You have so much dragon and no arms, no legs. You got these crazy hand-like claws. They just, they don't do it. You crammed as much as you could into an incorrect anatomical figure. I think I stand pretty strong because I've shown some kick-ass tattoos. If you sold them on the fact that I can do a dragon, then you did the wrong thing. Sarah, Tattoo Baby, Sebastian, one of you will not be going to the finale. The judges have decided Tattoo Baby. what it takes to be Ink Master. I just want to say one thing, and even though I'm leaving, I'm leaving here a stronger artist because of you guys, so thank you for your judgment. Listen, this is torture. You have the artistic flair to do the things that you want to do, but where you've excelled in this competition has been places where the technical side of the tattooing has been a little less important. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. I definitely did not think that I was going home. I literally, like, I went in there and I went for the goal. I feel like I fought so strong and I, I was not the last one standing. Huh. <laughs> I just love what I do so much that I felt like I owed it to my art strongly and I feel like I disappointed it. Welcome back to the live Geek Master finale. We are just moments away from revealing which of you is walking away with $100,000 and most importantly, the title of Ink Master. But before we do that, the viewers have been voting all night for their favorite of our 13 eliminated artists. The artist who gets the most votes we'll get a second chance on next season's Ink Master. And with over 75% of the vote, Baby. Tattoo Baby. <laughs> we will be seeing you next season on Ink Master. <laughs> Tattoo Baby, come on out. I'm back and I'm here to win. I'm very thankful for everybody who voted for me. I'm just on such a different level than I was last season. I'm ready. Welcome back. Tattoo Baby coming back. She's been through this before. That's definitely a threat, completely. There is $100,000 on the line and I'm going to take it. This is what I got. 
I love photorealism. I love to tattoo animals. I cannot wait to get started. It's really not that tasteful. Do I really want some random girl on my back for the rest of my life? Here we go. Man, my dad's gonna kill me if he sees this. Hopefully, he doesn't have a heart attack. I'm really not cool with this. I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna be a father one day, and here I have some random girl on my back that has no relation to me or my family. First session is done. It is a lot of money on the line for her, but it's not any money on the line for me. I absolutely know that I am not coming back for the next session, and best of luck to her. Hey, Dave, how are you? There's been a situation. Unfortunately, your master canvas is not coming back. So, we are going to send you a new master canvas, but you're going to have to start from scratch. All right, sweetheart, good luck to you. I am completely in shock right now. I really did not expect him to pull out. I hope that it's not going to affect my chance to win. Hi. Hi I'm Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Nice to meet you. I'm so disappointed, but I made it this far. I'm not going to let anything stop me right now. Wow. I worked so hard putting my all into this piece. I deserve to win. Tattoo baby, you're up first. Let's bring out your master canvas. As always, I'm always happy to see the amount of black that you put into a tattoo. But before you get to the black, you have to look at the stage of the stencil. When you put the stencil on the skin, you have to look and see where the stencil finishes, correct? You have to make sure that the stencil's not laying on a vital part where the face or the torso is gonna move. In this particular picture, your client's arms are pulled totally forward and he's stretching his back. If his arms would be at his side in a normal back piece picture, her torso and her neck would be completely off. You place the tattoo in the wrong place. To start, placement in a tattoo is everything. If you look at this client right now, please put your arms at your side. His shoulders will pop out. It will distort the way that we see in the photos when we look at these tattoos, the way that it actually looks. You have to be mindful of placement of a stencil to do a back piece. Make a note from that. Um, this design was designed for my first canvas. Um, unfortunately, he did um, drop out and didn't want to continue the tattoo. And then I met um, lovely Stan. But unfortunately, Stan had this huge scar from here to here, which is also why, you know, you'll see a little bit of the denting on the tattoo. And he had another tattoo. So I was working a little bit already against placement. But so that's is, why I This is your opportunity to put something centered in the back and make a beautiful back piece. You can never put an arm or a neck off to the side on a shoulder. Thanks, Chris. The judges have decided. Tattoo baby, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Oh. You've made it probably farther than anybody. You've taken the ball and you've run with it and you have fan favorites. And you know, I think that the presence that you've created for yourself through good and bad times will by far exceed because you're humble, because of the humility, you will pass anything and there's tons of people that would be proud to work with you and proud to have you because you have a great attitude and Thanks, you do Chris. great tattoos. Thanks baby. I know time's gonna be a factor. I'm gonna make sure I'm not stuck at the back of the pack and whoever's in the front, I wanna be hot on their heels. I'm an all-around tattoo artist. I'm known for doing black and gray realism, but I'm proficient in every style of tattooing out there. There's nothing that they're gonna hand me that I can't do. I might very well be the only grandpa that's ever been in this competition. And my age, experience, and wisdom are gonna help me beat all these young kids. You're gonna use the drawing that you did earlier, coupled with the machines that you just built. You're gonna reproduce that right on the pig. <laughs> Okay. Right out of the gate, we're gonna test fundamentals. One is assembling your tools, one is drawing, and finally, we're gonna test them on tattooing. How good are they at executing their drawing? That's why today, these challenges are their initiation. Kristen, 
Starting off with the sketch, the face on it is a beautiful face that translates right over to your tattoo. You definitely added more details into the tattoo than you have in your drawing. I think it's a great job. Thanks. The judges have decided that the winner of the first flash challenge is Christian. The finished product is smooth. You see the quality of the line work. You see the quality of the shading. That shows me who I want to see more work from. Christian, you're up first. Come on over. Tell us what you did here, man. More than just for the other, uh, all of you guys, I kind of actually specifically did this a little bit for you, Dave, because I feel like a lot of times you're a swing boat, they're more technical. Um, I wanted something that was really dark and beautiful, um, and this is based on a classic ballet. It's about a young girl who is uh, chosen by her tribe uh, as a sacrifice, and she dances herself to death for the god of spring. So I thought it might be something you dig. Right of spring, right? Stravinsky? Listen, I think the juxtaposition between the black and gray and the color is really nice. I also love the way that you have the silhouetted figures dancing behind to make those roses come forward. It's really great play with dark and light. I think you did great. Thank you. All right, buddy, thank you so much. It's time to reveal the jury's decision. The jury deliberated, and based on their decision, Christian, clean, one of you, is about to be one step closer to the title of Ink Master, and one of you is about to be eliminated. The jury has determined that the artist that will move on to the next round is... One shop will earn the first ever title of Master Shop. Yeah. And standing in your way is the next returning veteran. From Las Vegas, Nevada, he made it all the way to the finale in season seven. Representing Basilica Tattoo, Christian Buckingham. Great, now we're gonna start getting finalists in here. That's got me nervous. Last time I competed, I got completely robbed. I got a lot of problems with this tattoo. The composition and the flow of the hair is pretty weak, up. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. It just doesn't knock New School out of the park. This tattoo came out super soft, super smooth. This is expertise at work. You're a definite competitor here. Clean Rock One. I'm sorry, Christian, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. People clearly didn't like me. I lost on a popularity vote, but I'll tell you right now, one thing I will not do for the win is change who I am. Christian, welcome back, man. Who'd you bring with you? This is Nolan Wheeler. He's one of the guys who inspired me to be a tattooer. Christian most definitely should have won Ink Master, so in my mind, I'm actually coming to this competition with an Ink Master. I've been tattooing so long, whatever you bring me, I'll kill it. I'm bringing one of the guys that taught me how to tattoo. We're gonna monkey stomp everybody here. You have six hours to show your ingenuity by tattooing a new school design. And your time begins now. So time. Let's do it. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles of new school. Like that? Just a little bit more. Boom. These artists are going to have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. Hey, you ready? You have at it. Thank you. Even though neither one of us really does this, I think this challenge kind of fit our two styles. Oh, yeah. Nolan specializes in lots of big color fields, backgrounds. I'm much more technical, so I went first. I did all the outline, all the black. Oh, if we go home on this, I'm breaking some <laughs> Basilica Tattoo, you're up first. There's a lot of strong technical aspects to this tattoo. I like the texture and the flow of the hair and the tail. But I think that as far as the new school challenge, just because it's a bobblehead and has a little bit of pink on the outline, doesn't really make it new school. New school is probably the one thing that we were most afraid of. The drawing itself lacks a little dynamics. You guys are looking for a win. You're not looking for a get by. Try to win everything. OK, 
Okay, Basilica, you're up next. to do the story of Lilith, which legend has it was Adam's first wife, and she rebelled against God and Adam, and uh, she ended up becoming the mother of demons, so that's her little babies down there, and supposedly God kills a hundred of her children every day. We thought it was a dark and twisted story, and we just liked it. Hey guys. I love the owl. What happens in this tattoo is the owl and the girl really combine together and show a lot of detail and work. When you get lower, it's a lot simpler towards the base, and I feel like the babies, especially the right side coming over the back hip of the girl, you guys kind of don't get enough time or you don't have enough ability to get in there and detail that out as much as the rest of the tattoo. So that's really the only issue is the tattoo's beautiful. Nice job, guys. I love the tattoo. I love what you did with the background up at the top there to give it that biblical feel. Nice job, guys. Thank you. The judges have decided. Old Town Inc. Your coaches are two of the most versatile artists this competition has ever seen. Unfortunately, they both left just shy of the win, sparking one of the biggest rivalries in Ink Master history. And now they're back to settle the score. Kristen Buckingham and Clean Rock One. Oh. That's gonna be a bloodbath. I should have won. It's simple as that. I got robbed of my chance. As far as I'm concerned, Clean owes me 100 grand and I'm here to collect. Welcome back, guys. Are you guys ready for this? Absolutely, I've been waiting to take this guy out. Yeah, 100%. I've never been more focused in my whole entire life. Fair enough. It's time to critique your master campus. Christian, you are up first, buddy. All right, Chris, let's get into this. You did a lot of work. Every bit of this tattoo is smooth. I love how you really captured that horror comic graphic feel. Even down to the spider on the top of the skull, the bottom of the detail is perfect. You nailed the composition, you nailed the layout, you nailed the fit of the body. This is an amazing illustration. Thank you, appreciate it. both these tattoos too. Just if I'm looking at weight of tattoos, I gotta go with Clean Rock One. Oh my God. My heart. Chris, that means <laughs> it is all on you, my friend. Man, I'm so torn. It's always been the same thing, and it's been the tattoo that looks heavy. And it's just the application, and what I think, for me, really holds. And as tough as this is, I'm gonna go clean. for about two and a half years. I am still in the honeymoon phase of tattooing. With inexperience comes drive, passion. These guys have been doing it for 15 years. They don't have that like new, loving feeling about it. That gives me such an edge against them. I'm gonna go beat all their asses and they're not gonna see it coming. <laughs> That's mine. Outline looks very crisp. It's not tonal. It's a very slick tattoo. All right. Who wants this artist on their team? Absolutely. Oh my God, that is so nice to Let's hear. Let's bring up the number one ranked tattoo. Congratulations, Angel. 
Coaches, why should this artist pick your team? That is 100% a great tattoo. But you can't do this tattoo. You're so full of shit. All you do is just talk shit. You've got a target on your back right now. Every one of those guys is looking at you. I know how to work around that. I'm known for strategy. Angel, which team do you pick? The team that I pick is Christian. Yes. All right, go ahead and stand by your coach. Awesome. Today, you had to show Dimension tattooing a nature scape. Angel, there's very little nature in here. I don't see a lot of Dimension. The fact that you have little sharks at the top of this thing doesn't really make me think that there's multiple layers to this piece. There's zero relationship between the octopus and the ship. No foreground, nothing to tie any sort of depth in other than this ray of light, which a lot of people are going to just wonder what the hell that is. A lot of problems with this tattoo. Here's where I'm at. The ugliest tattoo, definitely Amanda's. Now the playbook says unfinished tattoo goes home. Between these two, that's my conflict. So you're saying Jimmy's safe? I can't believe I'm saying it, but... In your opinion? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm inclined to agree with that. My vote is for Amanda to go home. Jesus. The majority of this tattoo is very difficult to figure out what's going on. My vote's for Angel. It misses a challenge, and I do find more technical application problems than I do in the other two. Final decision. Angel. The judges have decided. Angel, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's blood, sweat, and tears in this thing, and I think that you've really, really excelled to a place where in two and a half more years, you're a threat, no doubt. I love you to death and it kills me. Please pack your machines and close shop. I have so much less experience than anyone in here. So the fact that I came here and I competed fiercely up until this point is a huge accomplishment for me. I did so much better than I even could have guessed. I could draw before I could write. I was always drawing. Last time I was in this competition, I had a lot to prove just to myself that, you know, I was a good tattooer and I could stand with giants. I went to film school for a couple of years and I had already started tattooing and I kind of realized at that point that I was probably born to do this. I think everybody else should watch out. Let's bring up the first tattoo, California. Oh. That's fine. Instantly recognizable. Just the way the palm tree closer to us, it's a black silhouette, and then the palm tree's going off in the distance, get lighter. That's a hard trick to pull off. This artist shows a lot of promise for what's to come. Cool. Yeah. Killed it. You have 13 hours to show us quality and quantity in this tattoo marathon, and your time starts now. All right, let's go see what you want. The hardest part about this space dog design is that it's a bunch of perfect circles. It's time consuming. What would you like to do? I'm gonna do the, uh, the skull with the facial hair and the hat. Sweet. This first canvas is taking up almost an hour and a half of my time. I'm Isabel. Jimmy, which nice one do you think you. I'm gonna get? This guy. Cool. I've never felt so much pressure in my entire life. That's it for this one. I love it. Free to go? This is not at all how I wanted to start this marathon. Which one do you want? I'm liking this little bulldog. Okay, guy. we can yeah. do that. All right. Four hours remain. This is your friendly paramedic coming by to say, I haven't seen you go to the bathroom. I'm worried about your hydrating. So here's a bottle of water here for you. Okay. Please hydrate up, okay? Thank you, sir. Drinking water. Crash Angel. Out of everybody's flash designs, your designs were chosen the most. Awesome. All your designs look very nice. It's not surprising that a lot of people chose these. But you create images that are not as easy to recreate on the fast. Doing tattoo designs that could be done quick would have been a little bit better. Let's take a look at the tattoos that you did. In 13 hours, Angel, you completed 11 tattoos. Your line work is pretty clean on almost every single one of these. Obviously, your first space dog is the worst one. The dog gets too black, so it's a little bit illegible. The third and fourth one are the best ones. You kind of figured out better ways to do it as you went. If you didn't do five space dogs, you could have done more tattoos. I think I was the only one who did the space dog, ironically. My favorite tattoo you do of all the tattoos is the simplest, the Gravestone 13. It looks like a quick banger. It's really smooth. I definitely see some high points in your tattooing. Overall, your body of work is pleasing. 
There's a lot of back and forth here, but when we put the design that Angel did, the moon up against other people did the moon, that outline has to be perfect, and Angel kills it on that one. Angel did five of those face dogs. That's the most time-consuming tattoo, and consistently her line work is super clean on all five of those. Her outline is the best outline consistently against both of you guys. I agree. My vote for the second spot in the finale is Angel. I gotta agree. My vote's for Angel. The judges have decided, Angel, you have earned your spot in the finale. Oh my god, yes. Me and Bob, let's do it. Congratulations. Thank you. I know I'm a really good artist, and I know there's a lot of good artists here. What's up, you? Bubba. My strategy is to outsmart everybody. I'd love to make friends, but is it important to me? No. I would way rather have the money. I'm known for mostly biomech. I love turning people into robots. Bubba. The baseball tattoo, obviously it's not round. The wings are poorly drawn. If a ball is perfectly round, then the shading's perfectly round. It throws it out of whack. I did what I could with what I had. This is the kind of competition that separates the men from the boys. You have six hours to tattoo a lady or a gentleman, and your time starts now. Are you good with this, too? Yeah. In order to create a great traditional tattoo, you have to have contrast. Contrast in tattooing really makes a tattoo come to life using light and dark. It's something that's going to make that tattoo jump up off the skin. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Jim and Bubba. You did the grandmother, right. you did the grandfather. So this gentleman is actually not Asian, as it turns out. No, he's not? No, he's not. Bubba, when you did this drawing, did you not notice the differences in the shapes of the eyes? No. How? They're offset. One's larger than the other. It's time to get back to the drawing board, literally. Bubba, the judges also felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. These drawings are from the start, not good. I don't know what I was thinking doing this thing. You never come out swinging and you're having a really rough time. To me, it's new being on the bottom. I've never just gotten by by not losing. The judges have decided. Bubba. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. The obvious problems in this tattoo are huge. Your drawing's everything. Please pack your machines and close shop. Seeing the talent that this competition actually has, it was pretty eye-opening for me. I feel like I showed up to World War III with a BB gun with 100 grand. I mean, I wanted it so bad I could taste it. Why is there nine boards and only eight teams? Heel twist coming. Welcome, artists. The shops entering the competition will have at least one returning artist who's competed for the title and failed. Oh, dude. What? These people coming back in have already been here. They already know the pressure, and that's really intimidating. The first returning veteran is from Scottsdale, Arizona, and competed in season four. He's the owner of Old Town Inc., Bubba Irwin. Who's that? Yeah, I had never heard of him. <laughs> I definitely came underprepared the first time I was here. You like doing this stuff? Yeah, it's cool, man. I've never done one before. There's no solid color. There's no straight outline. Bubba, you look pissed. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I just can't figure out what they want. You have many problems with your outline. If you give somebody enough rope, they hang themselves. Bubba, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master getting kicked off here. You could feel sorry for yourself or you can go home and do the homework, and that's exactly what I did. Welcome back, Baba. Thank you. Who'd you bring with you? I brought a good buddy of mine, DJ Tambi. <laughs> He's the most versatile. He's the best artist I know. Bubba's asked me to take him under his wing, and I've taught him a lot of things since. I'm not the artist that sticks to one style. Every day is something different for me. Everything we touch, we're going to crush. Yeah. Crush every single thing. DJ and I have known each other for several years. DJ is an incredible artist, and he's fast, and he's efficient. We're done. The two of you should be warned. This week is designed to put your shop to the ultimate test. Each week, everyone will be tested on the skill that exposes the veteran artist's shortcomings from the last time they competed. To him. Yes! There's a silver lining to the veterans coming back. We know what you got eliminated on. I know what you suck at. I knew this was going to happen. That's all I practiced on was my shortcomings. I'm ready for anything. 
This week, we're testing your fundamentals. Fundamentals of tattooing start with the drawing, then it goes to your stencil, then it goes to your application, line work, making sure your shading's smooth. I didn't have that last time. I do have it now. If you get eliminated for poor fundamentals, maybe you should not tattoo anymore. I don't know. Just basically double up that top thumb line. And I'm gonna go over a lot of these. Just don't change nothing. I'm not used to anybody telling me, don't do this or don't do that. Nice, beautiful. It's kind of hard to step back and let someone else take the reins, but I'm doing it because I'm doing whatever it takes to win this thing. Old Town Inc., you're up first. Bubba, how's it been back? I feel like I've been preparing to come back here since I left. I'm ready for it. This is a very clean, very legible, very strong illustration. Technically, the lines look clean. The varying line weights are used smartly, and from a distance, you do create shading with using only small lines. Little reactions over there. What's going on? They used a mag. I mean, I would have used a mag too if yeah. I could have. We all yeah. would have. You guys just didn't think about it. You guys are mad because you didn't think about it. No, we did. did. We followed the rules, though. We followed the did rules you? too. Dragging the mag. I mean, it is a way to make lines. I think it's smart. It is lines. Every single spot. Yeah, but the same effect that they did with the mag, I, I went through and I did it with a single needle. A lot of us did. This is a game. And if you're smarter than your opponent, oh well. I will tell you this I'm pretty sure that these guys aren't going home. We're here as a jury appears to determine which shot to put up for elimination. I still think that we should vote you guys for using a man. This is completely fundamentally sound. Bubba's been here before. They're going to the bottom out of principle. That's why I would not I have agreed Bubba to break the rules. You probably thought it was the advantage, so you kept quiet about it. So we're going off technicalities right now. I think you guys just thought you weren't going to get caught. And yeah. then it <laughs> bit you in the ass. Today, you had to tattoo illustrative black work. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Guys, why did you vote Old Town Inc. to the bottom? You better play by the rules or you're in the bottom. Wow. I don't think that I should be here right now. But nobody's, nobody's saying that the tattoo's down here because it's one of the worst of the day. Pins and needles also colored in big areas of black, which was explicitly said do not do. And their tattoo was far inferior to this tattoo. Why the f am I here right now? Had we all got the chance to use a mag, the caliber of work that we would produce might be better. It's ridiculous. Do your best tattoos and let your work speak for itself. You guys put up somebody that you're threatened by. I think you wasted your time. I'm pretty sure that they're not going anywhere today. 100%. We demolished this competition. We totally earned this. We deserve to be master shop, 100%. You ready to check this thing out, dude? Yep, let's do it. Massive. Oh my god. Yeah. For these two master canvases, we want them to look totally different. One illustrative color, poppy, look like a sticker, and one look like you can pull it off the bat. It's so realistic. Woo! The tear is going to be a little bit exaggerated, probably darken up her eyes a little bit. It's beautiful, man. This is going to be so sick. Really hope we have enough time, man. These are huge. This whole competition, it's been Bubba's riding DJ's back. DJ's carrying Bubba through this whole thing, but he worked just as hard as I did, if not harder. Came a long way, man. We came further than all these other guys. That's for sure. Reveal the tattoo, guys. Well, guys, this is a really risky move, and uh, I think seeing large-scale black and gray done like this is amazing. I think the areas where you hit the really rich black under the nose, in the sockets of the eyes, you get those dark tones in the top of the lip, really push this face forward. I think overall the coverage that you guys get and the amount of time and taking that risk was really, really well thought out and well played. My only critique on it is I wish that it had a little more of the rich black in the filigree areas to balance a bit. Otherwise, you guys killed it. Thank you. Take a look at that tattoo, bud. All right. Good. All right, guys. Here we go. A lot of coverage, a lot of big risks. Dropping that tail all the way down past his butt cheek onto his thigh. Beautiful placement. For me, looking at the tattoo, immediately the neck, the connection to the neck, the loss or lack of scales, the position of where the spine is in relationship to where the belly turns are off. 
the connection of the horn to the head is also off. That spine right there would need to line up and drop around parallel to the belly. So the two yellow lines separating need to ride together. That's the big sore thumb for me in this tattoo. Otherwise, the flow of the tattoo and the coverage, color palette, spot on. Great use of color. This thing is really readable from across the room. I think it's a killer job. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Old Town Inc. Tattoo is do or die. Maddie and I have some unfinished business. I don't think my moment of clarity could have come at a better time. Sitting like a rock, that's awesome. I'm gonna do anything I can to get the best tattoo out of you and make sure you don't go home. That is not in the cards today, I tell you that. Holy <laughs> this is the rematch of the century. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gangster, dude. You have one hour to tattoo a geometric wolf head, and your time starts. Now, I don't want to play it. <laughs> God damn, that's a clean line. They don't call them clean for nothing. You think the windows are looking okay? Yeah. Having shading in my geometric wolf is definitely going to give me an edge because Clean's piece is going to be a flat piece of line work. When it comes to anything black and gray, I own it. Thank you for all the help today. Three, two, one, that's it, machine's down, time is up. An hour. Okay, it is time to critique your work. Clean, let's start with you. Every line on this thing is ruler straight, and that shows a ton of technical application in itself. I think you stand out. Christian. The shapes in here actually form a 3D geometric model of the wolf, as opposed to clean, where it's just a bunch of lines and shapes. My vote's for Christian. For me, I see geometry, and I see straight lines in cleans, sticking with clean. The shading on that thing, is really what makes it stand out. My vote's for Christian. The winner of the face-off is Christian. Yes. Morning artists. Yesterday, you tattooed one glute. The first six hours of a 12-hour gluteus maximus tattoo. Many times, as a tattoo artist, you must finish what someone else started. And today, you must complete another artist's tattoo. And another artist will be finishing what you started. Are you serious right now? This is bull. You must all give your current design to the canvas's new artist. You can alter the design you're handed, but you cannot touch the glute that has already been tattooed. This is gorgeous. This is the ultimate head-to-head -head comparison on the same canvas. After you consult with your new canvases, you will have six hours to tattoo their other glute. Based on your work on both glutes, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. You have six hours to complete your glute tattoo. And remember, if your technical application isn't flawless, you'll be packing your machines. And your time starts now. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, let's go. Getting your glutes tattooed two days in a row is absolutely brutal. Today, more than ever, technical application is important because you want to get in and get out. Avoiding as much skin trauma as possible and being efficient. Your left side is so swollen, it's almost impossible to match this up perfectly. Don's side, it's a completely different size because of her swelling. This isn't your fault. This is just because you got work so hard in one day. I have to make a tattoo identical to the left side, but if I can't match up the goddamn stencil, I'm screwed. I might try and do it again while you're laying down. This week, 
you tattooed for 12 hours. Six hours on one glute and six hours on another glute, finishing another artist's design. Each glute you tattooed will be compared side by side with the other artist's tattoo on the other glute. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Don and Aaron. Well, Don, realistically, this is pretty clean. Your color blends are really nice, and for the amount of coverage you have on the skin, it's nice saturation. You did a good job. Aaron, on day one, you chose to not tattoo because you were in pain. This is your only shot in yep. proving that you deserve to stay here. Why did you choose this one? I knew that I could do it in the amount of time, and I knew I could do it well. I definitely wouldn't have designed it like that, but it was already there. I like the way you ended the wing better. It's a much cleaner ending than yours is, Don. And your really sculpted black outline is very clean. Thank you. Final answers. I'm going with Don. I'm going with Aaron. Aaron. Congratulations, you won this head-to-head. -head. OK, artists, you have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Ready? Hey. Yeah. You ready? Let's kill this. I was nervous when she picked the subject because I knew it was going to be something totally crazy because she's definitely from another planet, for sure. Danny is one of the strongest competitors, not only on the girls' team, but in the entire competition. I was, in my mind, I think, making it more difficult than it was. So to be able to defeat her is going to say a lot about my artistic ability. Ever since I could hold a pencil, I was drawing when I was five, and I just never stopped. That's your calling. You knew it was in you, girl. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Danny and Laura. Laura, you called out a new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. I really like this illustration, this application of the shading from the line, multiple tones and shades of color from black to open skin is very, very nice. Anywhere you look throughout this head of the alien, you see the color saturation is equal throughout every tone of color, which is the main thing we're looking for today. Let's take a look at Danny's tattoo. The battle at the drawing table is really close. And as far as how you sculpt this image with the color contouring, you do a great job. It's a killer tattoo. It's an incredible rendering. I'm super impressed for throwing this together, having no concept of what this was going to be. I love this battle. I wish this battle was every week. Me too. All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head -head face off? In technical application, Laura looks stronger. If I just look at the head versus Danny's, it's just so clean and so meticulous. Laura's application is really stunning. Laura for the win. My vote's for Laura. The winner of the face off is Laura. That means, Danny, you're up for elimination. Great job, Danny. Josh and Gary, this is your chance to save yourself from elimination by facing off. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Awesome. Ready? Now we go. Yes. Gary versus Josh, if there's a fist fight to be had, these guys are the ones to do it. Dig it? Yeah. A realistic tiger can be very tricky because somebody has to know how to emulate different values of fur for the different values of stripes and colors in the tiger. And give me that face done in two hours? I hope so. You have to be able to hit the textures of the mouth, precise with the whiskers, shiny with the eyes. This whiskers right here is just a hair higher than the picture. I might just fade that off anyway. All around, there's a lot to a realistic tiger. All right, lady, you ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, brother. Go get him, dude. I am not going to leave Gary's side, because this is probably one of the most important tattoos of his lifetime. He gets to take out one of the biggest players in the house. So I'm going to sit right here and make sure he does this thing the way it needs to be done. You don't have to lay that light of a line. They still want longevity, bro. Thanks, coach. Even though me and Josh butt heads, we need to put our differences aside. This is all pretty much one value, this yeah. weird yeah, t-shirt gonna... shape. Like almost... I want to texture it. Yeah, yeah. I've showed him a few tricks to get through this challenge. Hopefully, he listens to me for once and actually applies them. Pay attention to your reference. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen you look at it once. I can't lose another artist, especially Josh. Four hours, guys. Four hours left. Be careful of that sharp line there. Just do the mouth and sharpen that tooth before you forget. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gary's just going so slow at this. Just do what you see and get moving, bro. Man, you got to speed this up. There's so many details. With only two people tattooing head to head, there is no cushion to the bottom. You are the bottom, and you will go home. I want that face done in two hours. 
as long as you do everything that you see, game over. This is yours. You took out the big dog. <laughs> I have to win. I want to show my daughter. If you want to succeed in life, you can't give up. It doesn't matter who's on the other side of me. I'm not here to lose. Gary's a great competitor, but I'm sending him home today. I understand the route you're going, but you just gotta start creating that texture off that black. If you were to mag that black in, you would have already had that texture started. Josh seems real confident sitting over there, but I'm here to fight. This is gonna be dark. Yeah. I gotta use a different machine for that. I find it pretty funny that all the other competitors are trying to help Gary. Everybody in this house is trying to give him pointers, and he can't even hear his own voice anymore. You have two hours to go. Two more hours. At first, I thought Josh was going to win. But I don't want the pupils too far over. Like, one eye looks like it's looking this way. I've taken a lot of hate, a lot of people thinking that I don't deserve to be in the finale. I have to shut them all up, and I have to prove what I can do. See how you got a lot of skin in yep. the lines? Just change the tone from skin. The first two, three years of my career tattooing, I was homeless. I literally lived in my car for a period of time. Struggling through everything I've gone through will all be kind of justified if I can make it to that final stage and if I can come out of this thing victorious. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. She's like, thank <laughs> God. Dude, that's a badass piece, man. Thanks, man. Pretty stoked? Yeah. Worth the pain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's gorgeous. Today, you faced off for your survival in this competition. Josh and Gary, based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's start with Josh. Do a beautiful tattoo here. You definitely captured the look of the tiger. I really like what you did on the hair coming out of the ears. And you really gave a strong swing at lining up all these whiskers and the backdrop of the fur against the whiskers. For me, the biggest letdown is going to be the eyes. Yeah, the one eye, she got to where she was moving, and I couldn't get her to sit still. And I think I just jogged it a little, and I had to overcorrect. Obviously, I'm looking at it, and the focal point for me, that went. Yeah. You really hit the wetness of the bottom lip. The top teeth get a little bit away from you. Like the one tooth that's a little more standing on its own. Yours is a little different than the reference. In the stripes underneath the face, all that fur and all the little lines you put in each stripe to really show the direction of the fur is amazing. I really just shot for something that literally looked like it could leap right off his skin. Gary. I love the pose you chose. I love the image you chose. I particularly love the look you got in the tiger's eyes. Those eyes look beautiful and wet. Really great little attention to detail. Where I think you have challenges, your whiskers make new shapes. They look more electrifying. It doesn't have that slow, flowing, long, wispy feel to it. It's a little spider webby towards the edges. And one thing that would help this tattoo out a lot is if the top of the head was the top of the tattoo. Where you put the arch of the back, it rounds this whole thing off to a big ball shape. If you would have left a little bit of breathability, that shape of that chin would have looked really strong. But you show us a really nice black and gray tattoo, solid black, smooth transitions, multiple tones. Thank you very much. It is now time to determine who is going home. The challenge was consistency. Gary's looks like someone totally different did those whiskers than the forehead. So to me, that's inconsistency. At least both eyes are consistent. What's up with that wonky eye? That's all you guys come back to. But speaking as a non-tattooer, the first thing you look at is the eyes. And those eyes are jacked. His ears are the wrong shape, and they're wobbly. The whole face is twisted on an angle. There's lots of inconsistencies in yours, too. What's up with that eye? What other problems? OK, take his whiskers out, take my eyes out. He missed the whole mane, and his ears are wrong. Bro, you missed the whole face. Gary's whiskers take up a fourth of his tattoo. Josh's is one little eye. I have a hard time getting past the whiskers against that white fur. I don't know what the f I'm looking at. My vote's for Gary. Gary does get a little more hard to read in the bottom half of the tattoo. That's the point that kills it for me. I got to vote for Gary. My vote's also for Gary. The judges have decided, Gary, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop.
Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Gary. You have five hours to tattoo head-to-head -to -head against your opponent. The two artists that lose will be eliminated. And your time starts now. Let's do this. All right, kiddo, you're in. This tattoo is do or die. Maddie and I have some unfinished business. I don't think my moment of clarity could have come at a better time. Sitting like a rock, that's awesome. I'm gonna do anything I can to get the best tattoo out of you and make sure you don't go home. That is not in the cards today, I tell you that. Holy <laughs> This is the rematch of the century. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gangster, dude. I'm totally rooting for Maddie in this one. He's in my alliance, and I'd just like to see Sausage get his. Maddie clearly has the more dynamic drawing of the two, but Sausage finally looks focused today. He's a great technician. He actually could win this thing. I'm a well-oiled machine. I am killing this tattoo. Six textures, I can count. Seven textures. I'm going to put so much texture in this thing that you're going to be able to run your finger across the top, and the zombie's going to bite your finger off. Maddie, see you later. Bye-bye. Two hours. Two hours to go, guys. I gotta say, I think this particular challenge was a pretty gangster way to do I was pissed, but now I feel like at least I can get my head back into the game, and I'm gonna execute this tattoo to the best of my abilities. I hate to be the judge on this one. You want an anatomical heart with texture in it? I'm doing the most textured part that Eat Master's ever seen. I chose an anatomical heart because I'm trying to prove to the world that I can do photorealism. If you can't do all styles in one you here. Then I am the most versatile competitor that's ever competed. He's all pissed off because he's got to do photorealistic. Well, you pick me, dude. I mean, I'm going to give you what you want to do. F you. If I lose this, I just proved twice that my photorealism game is not on point. Where the f does that come from? You thought I was one trick pony, huh? You are one trick pony. All you can do is tattoo. If this thing isn't super textured, I just sent myself home. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machines down. No more ink. Hats off, gentlemen. Yeah, that thing's awesome. This is a great situation for me because Clean and Sausage are two of the toughest veterans in the house. If we can knock both of them out, that's great. Today, each of you had to face off head to head with another artist. Two of you will pack your machines. Sausage and Maddie. You tattooed color zombie faces head to head. Maddie, let's see how you did. Very strong move choosing the zombie heads for texture day. I threw my gloves off and went bare knuckle with sausage. Either me or him, we're going to go out swinging. I love the action, the motion that you captured with it. I really love the color theory in this thing. It really helps with the contrast. It really helps with the texture. The most dynamic part is the eye and that jaw just hanging open and just going haywire. The rotting texture of the flesh, the really rotting texture in the mouth that you pull in the front, that whole Swiss cheese, webby, cool effect. I love all that stuff. What I like about this man is it just looks like a sticker, without a doubt. I think that your tattoo has a lot of punch. Sausage. My favorite parts about this tattoo is the depth you were able to capture, the deep inset of the mouth, the deep inset of the eyes. The texture coming in and out of the depth of these images really add to the effect. There's some nice tricks. I like the blown out cataract looking eye. All the pits and the nasty little areas in the forehead are nice touches. You really do a nice job in the mouth, in the tongue. Those little white dots give it that hint of life in the front, but really dark depth in the back. You guys are definitely a good match. You're two strong tattooers, and this is a great fight. Jimmy and Clean, you tattooed photorealistic anatomical hearts head to head. Let's see how you did. Let's start with Jimmy. So Jimmy, why did you challenge Clean? Honestly, I challenged him because I thought we were gonna do some drawing. So when he chose the photorealistic anatomical heart. That one was a bit of a shock, but I was like, oh, of all the stuff we could have picked, that's what you landed on. Yeah. 
I like your use of black in this tattoo in certain areas and less black in other areas that really make the different areas of the heart stand out. I love what you did up in the fatty tissue area. The color combinations you use there, that icy blue with that weird off-tone light creamy color, it really has a great look. Good job putting your personal sensibilities aside and just technically doing a strong tattoo. Thank you, guys. Clean. You've had a controversial history with this house in terms of photorealism. My photorealism is a little whack, you know? So uh, I'm like, just get good at it. Then you're like, gonna be the man. I love this tattoo. There's depth to it. It's slightly gory. I tried to make it gory, but beautiful. The wetness, the slickness, the veiny textures in the bottom. I love the little skull highlight you tipped in the bottom there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's really HD. It has texture everywhere. But to me, what I'm really impressed with is the color play. It creates life in the tattoo because it has that lavender kind of hue to it that plays off of the really rich black overall. The drawing on this thing's great. The balance is great. The textures in it are great. We knocked it out of the park. Thanks. All right, guys, it's time to make a decision between Jimmy and Clean. They're both different takes on the heart. Jimmy's got a little bit more fatty tissue to the musculature. Clean has a little bit more of the veiny details and the wetness going on. I like them both a lot. They're both really strong. It's a tough one, man. It's two strong tattooers, but I feel like the black is what really sets off Clean's tattoo. Even outside the tattoo, I think that rich darkness makes his more dynamic on the heart. Judging on the dynamics, the capturing of the depth, Cleans does have that, something extra over the top. I gotta vote for Clean. I also vote for Clean. Clean. The judges have decided, Jimmy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I do feel like I have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just don't have what it takes to play this game. Fair enough. It's an honor to have you come back and to allow us to sit where we sit and you do what you do. Nothing but respect and love for what you do and who you are. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. It is time to determine between Sausage and Maddie which artist will be packing their machines. Both these guys knock texture out of the park. I actually see more examples of texture in Sausage's tattoo, but I like Maddie's tattoo better. Sausage did great on a lot of textures, but it kind of looks like his zombie is posing for his passport photo. Maddie's looks like it just got whacked off the shoulders of the baseball bat. Yeah, his is really exciting, but man, I, I sure do like the idea that I just went balls to the wall with the texture. You guys asked us for dynamic, creative tattoos. I came out tattooing with a Louisville slugger instead of a tattoo machine. I did an awesome tattoo. We have to vote on texture, obviously, but we also have to just go on best tattoo of the day. I see Sausage having more examples of texture, and I see Maddie delivering a more appealing tattoo. It's glossy. One's muted down, the other one's just ramped up. Sausage, I love the details you put in it, but I don't think you had a good exit strategy for the back of this tattoo. You didn't have a way to end it, and it's very guessworky on where each part of the hair finishes. My vote's for Sausage. Chris. Sausage. I vote for sausage as well. The judges have decided, sausage, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I respect all your work. You're a great fighter, and I know you're a great tattooer. Please pack your machines and close shop.